Hi, Cooch Man. How are you doing today? You doing well? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. I just wasn't talking before. I am a little tired today. We're starting a lot later than we normally do. So, but I'm doing well. I got my water. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well though, Cooch Man. I think it's technically legal, but it shouldn't be. <laughs> but then again, I don't, freedom of speech kind of thing, but mm. I, don't, I don't know because that's being disrespectful to the president. So I'm not sure. It might be illegal. Kind of hope so. man with the red beard that's rex um i don't think you've really met him he plays arc with us but i don't think he's played on the server since i have gotten on so <laughs> yes he is actually I think he teaches middle school because I think he teaches biology. I think he's a science teacher. I'm not positive though because I don't know him personally. <laughs> you did indeed for to say noodle, but yes, he is here too. long rest um that's fine. okay yeah sorry yeah. coochie so, man yeah, you actually get essentially what I is a free to, detect uh, magic which lasts yeah boy think, bring minute. it up so you can actually identify a couple of things if you wanted oh, to. a minute correct 
Um, yeah, okay. Minute is good. So, you cast Deter Thank you magic, for letting me know. And you sense that yes, indeed, this wand is magical. Uh, specifically, it appears to be what might be known as a wand of polymorph. It would be something that could transform a creature into a different creature. However, let me double check this before I quote on it. I it think you need to be druids. attuned to it. <laughs> druids. Druids, are, that would druids be a like it. the animals too much. They cannot. <laughs> the wand has an unknown number of charges. While holding it, you expend one of the charges to cast Polymorph, which has a save. Um, requires attunement. So, you have the wand, but you would actually have to rest, take a long rest, and dwell on the wand and attune to its magical nature in order to actually make use of it. Okay. But, it is in your possession. Sick. It's mine now? I mean, unless anybody stops you, it is a magic item. <laughs> Called a wand of poly. Is he? That is correct. I don't actually have I, their cams um, up for I'll myself. Let me check out when you attune to it, because it has an okay. X number of charges that I have to roll for. Okay, Rex would like to inspect the aspergillum. Is that correct? Yes. Why don't you make yes. a? Wait for it, everybody. Oh! Wait, hang on. Check. Oh, oh, wait, we said that sounded I, uh, like somebody banging on the back King of like a yeah, no, trapped in a van. Yeah, no, yours sounds like weird metal. That's what I, I think it was. Sure it's King K. Roll. For the natural one. Let's see the, the natural one. The one time one. I get yeah. to do this. Let's see. Oh! oh. oh. Nice. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. He uh, spoke it into being using reverse psychology. It is an aspergillum. Uh... What, where's the roll? Am I not seeing it or? It's it is a 20. 21. Oh, okay. For some reason, it's not showing on my screen. I may have to reload. <sighs> yes. To confirm it is an aspergillum. However, I will add on top of that a little bit of context for you, Rex, in particular. You it is card from a, bone. You are a clergyman. You are a cleric of the sun. However, you have had contact with many different religions throughout your travels. It is unusual to see something so ornate as this, and for the purpose of anointing something carved out of bone of all things, that would bespeak maybe a primitive sort of cult or some kind of religion. And yet, all the signs are here that while this cult Sorry, is I'm trying hidden, to get comfortable. They should be sophisticated. They should be able to get anything, any material that they wanted to make this aspergillum out of, other than bone which would be something that a savage or like an orc out in the waste would use. The fact that they specifically look for bone and the continual usage of uh, undead spirits in this area just further cements that you're dealing with something that had no problem with human sacrifice and perhaps even cannibalism because the meat from a lot of this has been gone and the ghouls that have been wandering around the house do seem to have a taste for human flesh as well, so... Like a couple so this, pieces are locking in your mind. So this seems more evil than good. Well, yeah. I mean, okay. look at where, I mean, where we found it. I was just curious. Not even, my, not even my, first thought was, my first thought was Bone of a Saint. All right, everybody, let's leave the happiness house. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. This is the death house. My bad. Okay. I got the two I, mixed up. I get what you're saying. It's, it's, he not, brought even the neutral, it's not even good. This is outright like this is bad. dark magic it's this is bad. appeasement to evil spirits that may dwell a, outside big, the plane of the sun and uh, righteousness uh, that you're used big, to it's a big bad one does anybody else <laughs> do anything in particular big, i'm gonna reload my uh web page real quick so i can try to see what is said in chat but does anybody else do anything or examine anything in particular uh, uh, i forgot list of things. Yeah, I kind of forgot. But too. I'd <laughs> like to use yeah, it was like a magic on more things. It's I pretty guess. big. It, it's so up to you guys if you want to go through it one at a time. Uh, Gwen has Detect Magicka, which actually yeah. is like an aura around her. So if you want, Gwen, you could say I check every single item if you wanted to. Let's it's what? That. A 30 foot aura or something? <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite large. I think she essentially gets the whole room in like one. It's basically the whole room. Yeah. As okay. long as she examines Go ahead and Let's make do that. a. I will have you make a uh, Arcana check. Okay, good. I'm trained in that. I think. Nope. 
Oh, no. But yeah, I, I, I have I a negative am. one in that. Ooh. I was going to say, oh. the, the wizard, um, this is a classical wizard job, but because you get it for free. Drew would make dumb with bear yeah. right. Let's go. Oh, Drew would like. That was, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. I still can't. That was, oh, this is terrible. I still can't see it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, She's fine. still probably more technically, so. See it. So. Oh, dear. Yeah. First of all, she's just spinning in the middle things. of the room, not even looking at anything. <laughs> she's just like chasing her tail. tail. Glenn <laughs> notices one or two other objects that pop up on the detect magic, almost like an aura emitting from the objects. But all the rest of the party sees is a hyena spinning in a circle in the middle of the room. <laughs> They're like, what is this dumb bitch doing? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Take all the time. Chase you tail all all the time you need. Yes, chase tail. Would like to chase tail and, and knock I over do have items. Game right? Feel free to move around if you guys would like. This is, you know, exploration. It's I'm scared. To I'm not I'm scared to do this. I'm not gonna check Me anything because <laughs> health. No. Meanwhile, the entire time you guys are there, you just keep hearing the chanting from the background. He is the ancient. He oh, is right. the land. It's gotten louder. It's much louder. It's it down here. It appears to be emanating uh, somewhere southward of you. Although, uh, examining the room and seeing the vicinity, it doesn't appear that you can find the source yet. There's no Which way was the door activity. you said? That the, door that... you, the door that is blocked is down here. Can you see that ping? Yes. Coming up to this small corridor, I could go in there. you can actually see that there is what appears to be a waterlogged chamber. There's a large pool of groundwater gathered here. Um, there is some kind of raised platform. Uh, can you see that? Can you actually see into the room down here? Yes. Okay, but you can't I hope pass so, through. That's good. That'd that be amazing. Oh yeah, um, I can't. There's a raised platform with some kind of altar on top of it. And as you approach a portcullis, there is a mm. iron gate with bars set really tightly to prevent entry sunk down into the water in front of you. Um, getting closer, you can tell that the noise is definitely coming from in here, but approaching even this close and getting some kind of view of the room still doesn't yield the source. There's no persons visible yet. Everyone keep that in mind for your dwarf fortress fortresses. Make a portcullis by your water supply so you get goblins. Mm. Or, or else. It's true. Or else you get goblins. Uh, the portcullis seems quite heavy, but... It perhaps could be lifted, or there might be a lifting mechanism. Uh, it's a pretty, it is a pretty amazing hey. command. Good job, AC. Good job. Could we perhaps take as many things as possible and move onwards? Sure. And dogs uh, try sounds like it. not the best of ideas. Which but... which thing would you like to take? I was gonna say probably I can just be very specific. Probably yeah. not what you the, want uh, to do right now. Who takes is swiping small, everything. Yeah, I'm not taking hand. anything. Are nope. you not taking anything? I, nope. I'm not willing to risk my <laughs> no one, one health. No one wants to take the hand. I took no, the frog. No that was it. I'm not the frog it? Not even the aspergillum. No, no you, I, 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 I took the aspergillum. All right, you are you aspergillum. are taking the frog. You are taking the frog staff. Yeah, frog stick. As, she already has as soon as staff. as soon as you remove the frog stick from the uh, from I the fucking hate everything now from the stand, you That's just hear good. like a deep a deep like screaming sound, but you can't like emanate where it's coming from. It seems like the maybe the walls themselves are making the screaming. Okay, let's not take anything. That is all. That's it. That is all. When I take the <laughs> the walls <laughs> scream. Do you take the ass for Joe and Rex? I, I, I do take it. Baby roll a d20. Baby Roll a no. d20. Oh no. Roll a d20. Whoa. This is sketchy. Oh. oh. Ooh. This is oh. sketchy. She Good says. thing Rex is rolling There's amazing relics. tonight. As soon as you take it, right after Round Frog takes the staff, you can hear more you can just hear it inside of your head just more screaming and it looks like the walls are shaking just as hard as when round frog took them to you or gwen yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. el dog el dog so, so does anybody start piling relics into their backpack or do you leave the rest alone no i don't okay. even remember what relics were there i don't either a couple other things but 
It's up to you guys. Like I said, uh, Gwyn may spot some of them, but she can't really communicate which ones very well. Nobody wants to take something else? Third time's a charm. Far, far. Yep. Going once, going twice. I don't remember what they are. So. Oh, yeah. We can go through the list again. Something that looks mummified, oh, a copper. I don't remember what A else. bag that seems to have something in it. The hand. The, fi the finger. Oh, yeah. A couple things. If, it, if nothing really stuck out to you and you don't really want them to deal with Ava Relics anymore, you know, there's more to explore. There is this door here, which is actually open. Like I said, or, I'm not going to risk really my one health. It is health. a corridor. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Crane and <laughs> Barum are kind of limping along here. Mm -hmm. I'm following Mithras. Okay. I'm following... Why am I in the back? Doggo is up ahead. Oh, I see grabby hands. Coming into the next area, uh, again, earthen uh, walls with timber supporting the weight of the roof, the, the stone roof above. Um, this area seems to have been some kind of holding area. Um, Dang oh, are those supposed to be the <laughs> Yeah, they're manacles. Uh, steel manacles attached to the wall. I heard uh, there are someone no that there's going to be a or bugs attached to these at present. Is that um, true? But there's been plenty of. Uh, activity noticeable elsewhere, like the know. meal that you guys saw in the floor above, or the bones else. that you've seen scattered around, actually... carved into other things. That maybe this is where they would have kept uh, victims. Oh, lovely! They do be looking like grabby hands. Mm-hmm. Grabby grab. They look right. like Mr. Krabs' big meaty claws. <laughs> uh, as you guys enter this down. area, uh, can I have everybody roll stealth? Oh gosh. Can I do hidden step? <laughs> You've already used it, and you can't use it as a giant hyena, so... Oh, right, I'm so fucking doggo. So go ahead, and I need to see uh, five stealth things. Well, somebody's not very stealthy. Nope. I love that Look, I'm, uh, I'm right, I'm, uh, I'm is struggling here with two oh, is it? I never saw any um, previews for it, so cells. I wasn't sure. Deadbolt. Yes. My... Dex has a hyena I is higher, good. so should I just, like, add Yeah, you, you always use the uh, animal stats. And you uh, might have the skill train as a hyena. I don't have. Oh, okay. So you don't have the deck. skill train, but you can use that deck. How would I All check right? if it's trained? Uh, it would it should, there should be, job. yeah. There should be like a skills that says stealth plus oh, X. No. It says perception, so I see. Okay. Yeah, so like, yeah no... Dex is plus two. So I All just right, add so two. So go ahead and roll a d20 and add two. Yeah. Well. Oh, okay. Okay. Continue. Okay, Continue. yeah, that's why I wasn't <laughs> positive to oh, okay. have a trailer you or, not. or preview or anything. So somebody just told me, and so I wasn't positive. Mm, quietly, <laughs> we're just like <laughs> silent, Barum. making our way down here. We're just like, mm. I'm limping. I'm limping. Mm -hmm. I feel Make like way the down are like just hopping Thank around. you. Thank you. <laughs> It is like Veggie Tales. The hop. I would like to do a Hip, check to see if there's any hop. hidden place, like doors. Sure. Or Make an investigation check. Okay. Anybody else who's looking for anything in particular, please feel free to also follow up oh, with an investigation my check. That's a dog. Do we? How does the oh, change? Oh no! <laughs> Probably like no, two. Someone else should do it. Someone else should do it. I can do an investigation. I have a good investigation. Thank you. Mine is negative <laughs> four. <laughs> She's like, oh. She's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> scratching at the walls. <laughs> I'm like, Arr. uh The chanting got farther away, Mithras. You yeah. noticed, everybody was able to notice that, that it seemed to grow more distant. However, <laughs> um, on top of that, um, I'm, I'm getting all these rolls coming in. Crane is really the only one. Actually, uh, Andril as well. Crane and Andril, you two swear <laughs> that as you approach this area here, can you see where I ping up here? Yep. Yeah. As you approach this particular cubby hole or side of the prison, uh, you think you can hear the voices a little bit louder, and they appear to be echoing slightly. Uh, uh, quick, quick question for Deadbolt. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what about 36C? Uh oh. It sounds like a tax code. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, see, I can't actually take that tax cut because no, he's actually like I didn't donate man. enough money last yeah, year. Yeah, I didn't even put that in the back there. 36C! I didn't notice it until just now. Yeah, it was on there. Okay. 
I can I can Ooh. come up with something for that. Um, thank you for me... the stretch, wild donkey. Thank so, you, thank you. Entering this side chamber, uh, the two of you, Andril and Crane, notice that the noises are echoing a little bit, as if you had departed the source of the noise, but then there might be some way in or a draft or something letting air in and making the noise sound louder in this hit vicinity. Wall. <laughs> With head. Uh, if you would like to look for a hidden <laughs> door, one of you two, Andril or Crane, you can choose to make a. Uh, would this be trap or? No, tell Doggo hit wall. With no. head. <laughs> oh my god. What would it be uh, another investigation or like a? Uh... Yeah, probably. All right, another investigation hmm. check from Andril and Crane as you guys attempt to find. Uh, the source of whatever is going on in this room. Meanwhile... Sorry, guys. I just keep yawning. Nice, Crane. Nice. It's Very to make nice. up for that that fail of a stealth. <laughs> oh. I tripped over my feet back there. Forgive me. Uh huh. My wounds seem to be causing me some troubles. Apparently, oh, you are a lot. Uh, Bug, we didn't do anything for that natural one on stealth. Oh. I am aware of this. Yes, it is. Oh, you man. pass. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, arf, arf. There, well, there goes, there goes the chaotic no. god's grace. That was it. That was the one. That, that, that was the it, one yeah. good thing. Now we're I, I noticed it earlier and thought of it for two seconds and then forgot. So you are so, lucky this time. So. and Crane begin to feel the wall, looking for any kind of. The light here is dimmer. Uh, there was no light on the floor with the ghouls. Obviously, you only had the light emanating from Mithras's. Uh, amulet mm -hmm. the dungeons are not lit but the there's enough ambient light coming from torches in the artifact or the reliquary room that uh, they can kind of get a feel for where they are and crane suddenly notices a depression that once pressed opens a what? doorway that mm. seems to lead into the same chamber that was visible from the portcullis area. If you okay, don't do 36 C, I'm gonna fucking scream. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. It's a nice water. Right, who goes in Lovely. first? Get back me. behind me, you two. <laughs> yes. Mithras, I appear to have found something. <laughs> arf, 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 arf. <laughs> yes, dog. Oh, go, me. doggo. Be free, arf, doggo. Arf. With all you've done, the least you can do is go first. <laughs> Mithras will do his clerical duty. Thanks for y'all. Remember me. As Mithras clears the opening, the door finishes its motion into the wall, and a bony hand slaps down on Mithras's shoulder. R.I.P. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, he's saying hey. It's fine. Yeah. What up, my bro? Hey. <laughs> Mithras turns suddenly. What the? <laughs> there is a skeleton that have been chained to the wall. Mm. The motion of the door seems to have shifted and broke ancient rusted manacles and caused part of it to fall upon you. It is very dead and very Hark. stripped of any meat. Hark, it is thine homie. <laughs> <laughs> he appears Doggo. to be wearing a tattered black robe, which given some of the information that you had acquired earlier with your religion check, uh, may entail dark deeds were done here. Mm -hmm. um, the only other thing of note is that the hand is grasping your shoulder in a uh, last gesture from death has a bright, shining ring on the finger. He was merry. Doggo, Doggo <laughs> grabbed Skelly hand. <laughs> flame, oh, no. oh my god. May this sacred flame purge you of your sins and pass you into rest. Catches <laughs> 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 fire, the skeleton starts to burn up. It's hard to burn bones, so it's just a robe burning in the corner right now. And <laughs> are the, are the I, people I, in the room I, like? I, I beg to differ. I know a few fuck? thousand people who might disagree with you. Well, it takes a while. It sits there burning for a bit while the robe kind of catches and burns away. The ring just kind of glints in the in the firelight. It's a very slow burn, like those uh those guys who fought the uh the angels in that one uh left left behind. <laughs> 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 Yeah, see, Daniel knows exactly what I'm talking about. Is that not an accurate reference or what? It is a very accurate. They're just like, hey. Oh, 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 oh. 
Yes, I'll also give God. you this. Um, knowing what you know about your Sacred Flame, if this was like a mobile entity or an undead entity, it would probably be reacting at this point, but it just kind of... You have lit a skeleton on fire. Ha, idiot, it's, it's just, just a dead guy. guy. You gotta understand, it's more than just like making sure that it's not undead. It's a yeah. ritual. He's, That's fair. He's, I'm just letting you know it's kind of like... That's, that's, that's like such bullshit, you didn't know he was dead. Burning. Like that's such bullshit, like you were just like, this guy's not dead. Ah. Uh, just in so case this man is dead, I will shoot him with my fire. At this point, the chant has reached its pinnacle. Super, it's super loud. Yet. It is coming from all across the room. There's still it's like being front stage source, at a BTS concert. But it's clear that Ew. something in the air around you is chanting this like a crowd about you. He is the ancient. He is the land. We should Hello? probably destroy the altar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go for it. All right. Go for it. Oops. Um, you do see an altar. There is an altar oh. on top of the platform. I was going to say, are you just swimming a frog, Miss Doggo? I'm a doggo. Entering the, <laughs> water, <laughs> entering the water around, um, it doesn't appear to be very deep. What is not, that? Not what quite is that pile? To, um, <laughs> impede pile of movement. <laughs> uh, there is also this This is my first time ever. Like, this is my very first side. campaign. Um, Wild donkey. This appears to have been the final resting place of many. Uh, unlike the scattering of meals and individual skeletons that you've seen throughout the rest, this w is a large pit Doggo, take in a which bone. many bones have been placed. <laughs> and carry it within thine mouth. This charnel <laughs> pit would require much sacred oil. Grin. <laughs> Grin, make a uh, sleight of hand check. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, but yes, coming to the water, because I don't think... Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was Not my hand. Get that bone. <laughs> I was honestly just expecting like a Grave Lord ne like Nito moment there, just the yeah, <laughs> same. Mithras, the water's my about boat. two yeah. feet deep. Not enough to completely impede okay. movement, but it is like you have to do a little bit of a fording action to get to where you're going here. I got some. And it appears to be uniform throughout the room. The water depth. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, at the pile of bones, because <laughs> she decides to go right up to it, so I'm putting you right there. Um, oh, I was the chanting is really intense in this mound-like area, oh, and lovely. it spooks you for a moment. It's a singing but mound. You're you're a hyena. And those That's bones look good really good. I mean, they they're do. really picked clean of any leftover Looking meat. Juicy. It's just the bone <laughs> part that really sticks out to you at this moment. And with the deftness of motion, she's got a desire to chew. Yoink! You pull one bone out of the mouth. Yoink! <laughs> nom nom. All right. Tasty, tasty. Does I'm over here like. Send the platform. Uh, bar or uh, uh dog. Mithras is <laughs> Okay. As Mithras makes it to the top of the die, the chanting stops suddenly. Uh, uh oh. And a oh. moment later, a single voice. <laughs> he is. La a moment later, a single voice is heard resuming the chant, but quieter, starting more quietly. One must die. One must die. Why? One must die. 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 And then growing. One must die. One must die. In the same pitch as before. I'm just a doggo. What? That's probably a good sign, correct? One must a doggo die. is one. I'm going to examine the altar. Shut the fuck up. Rex. Oh. Make a religion check. <laughs> I made an 11 on my religion check. Do I know who Jesus is? <laughs> Thinking about the Aspergillus that you found earlier. Uh, the evil nature of these cool. cultists. Uh, one thing is perfectly obvious. They expect a sacrifice. Um, Lovely. It also appears clear that 
they're not going to be appeased unless something is done on this altar in particular. This ain't just any old um, sacrifice, boy. This is a live sacrifice. You gotta get something alive and kill it. I think. I think that's what they're asking for. Probably gonna be a person. You need to have it. You need to kill them. All right. One must die. Thank one, you. One one guy one guy in the background is just like one must die. Yep. One <laughs> must die. Go in and they're speaking like you. Go help them. One must die. <laughs> my people. Hey, come on up here and my help us kill a thing. There's good people. We gotta make is something that have to die over here. On it's the, the Westboro. I, I'm sorry. Is there anything on the altar? I don't think so, right? It does. It's waiting for well, donkey. something. I did, yeah, I didn't even know that it's you could play on the like So it was for, super cool when we found out how we were able to. Like that. Mm -hmm. if you oh, you'll be, with you'll be receiving altar. something pretty soon if you don't kill something on this altar. I saw you what. <laughs> <laughs> it is a blank is it, altar because... Is it a valentine? Or I'll sense. tell you what, boy. Y'all y'all better be worshiping Satan down here. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense to you, Mithras, that there's not really much adorning the altar because it is good. The expected activity here of the cultist would be to drench this thing Shed in it. the blood of its victim. Right, right, right. It is a sacrificial no, yeah. dagger. No. Let it flow like, like a later. river. I have a ritualistic dagger, a ritual dagger in my bag. Uh, do not say uh, that loudly. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's let the party decide, Techbook. Let's see what they do. Let us let them decide. Uh, if is I'm gonna let is what is everyone else doing? Cause like yeah, I'm about to up? do something, I'm but still. <laughs> I've been doing I've been doing a bunch of stuff. So what's everyone else? Yeah, Mithras is about to do a bad boy thing. You better chewing help him. Gwen is chewing a bone. She's still a hyena, so she can't really communicate. What yeah. about Andrew, Barum, and Crane? <laughs> Andrew mm. next to me at the bones. <laughs> <laughs> I just stared at the bone. Um, me and Barm are just like, I don't know. Pet, pet, pet. <laughs> oh, God. He's just like, big doge. Big I feel so bad, bad for Rex. Me, right? <laughs> He's trying. Uh, the Rex is of, just like, yeah, let's get the cool. Is intensifying still. I mean, Doggo be uh, pet, though. I'll come stand next to Mithras, but oh, I'm not. No, Barm. Barm, you okay. will die. <laughs> I'll stand behind him. <laughs> I'm stand behind. <laughs> what is what you got over there? What is the altar made out of? You guys, I'm so ready for this. <laughs> what, what is the altar made out of? Hold on, hold on. This is more penis. specific than I thought it was penis. ever going to be. He's a mini penis make the altar. Big penis, small penis, mini penis make it. Glue the together. What are you All talking glue together about? the penis. The doggo That's what the altar is made swims, out of. Swims, swims to the, the thing with the bone in its mouth. Just, the water is two a, foot. Uh, <laughs> it's two foot. You I, could I, literally. I just, it, it, yeah, it's walk. just like. I'm doing a doggy paddle. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna doggy. Cool. Mithras, right. it's an obsidian altar. It's darkness absorbs the light around it, and it becomes oh. a void in your vision. I would not have guessed. This is that. a masterful <laughs> obsidian altar. On the bottom are cold are wedges carved in gold and cobalt. It menaces with cabotrons of. That's what I was trying to think of is like more descriptors for that. It menaces with spikes of obsidian. All right, all right. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. I smash. You smash. He smash. I am going. Bro, does he smash? Oh he my smashed. god. Bro, did you, you totally a, smash? Uh, why don't you make a strength check and let's see if it even does anything to it? Because it is obsidian. It is obsidian. <laughs> you need at least a flat. diamond pickaxe. Diamond? Obsidian don't you know anything? Do we have some flint yeah, and steel? Yeah, but it might be magic obsidian. <laughs> right, yeah, but it has extra density because of the sheer weight. Detect magic up. Uh, detect magic should still be up, right? It's a 10 minute duration? Yes. It's one it minute. is a one minute duration. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, R.I.P. 20. Unfortunately. I was 20. Tech. You smash down onto the table with your mace and you make a huge crack in the surface that makes a splitting sound throughout the chamber. And for just a moment, the cry stops. And they seem to be listening to you, seeing what your next move is. <laughs> I'm going to keep smashing it until it <laughs> breaks. This thing is evil. All right, tech bug. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't like how you said that. <laughs> I don't like how you said that. He's like, all right, handing it off. 
They're they handed are, it off to the evil DM. Mythros, I don't know if that's such the gr of the greatest ideas. I wish I could speak. <laughs> well, you know, I don't like it when my seat and things get broke. What did you? What did you do? Did you the doggo it? is barking. I I don't think I did, but he's not there anymore, so maybe I did. I think you the, broke it. I think you did a break. Let me let me go fetch him the again. The doggo dropped the bone because they're because she's barking so big. Because I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it exactly barcos. properly. Hold on. Big old barks. Let me let me fix the token first before you do anything. Clark. I'm not Clark touching. Clark smash. Change your Discord mute button. For the love of God. No, it's always <laughs> been this. I'm like muscle memory to it. Um, are, do you still have the icon still? Because it wasn't. Oh, wait, you probably loaded it, right? <laughs> oh my God. On my side, it looks like it, yes. Oh, okay. Good enough. I'll, I'll go with that. Let's. On the, um, on the actor's directory <laughs> stuff? Yep. Oh, it doesn't look like it on your side. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't do it anymore. Oh, I think yeah. I still got it saved. Yeah, put put it on the one that I made because it's already embiggened. I am doing so, it on the embiggened. I will describe them. I'm assuming you want him to go right away, Techbug, right? I can describe it while you're fixing it. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, might as well. So, as Mithras continues to pound on the obsidian altar, showing his distaste and his description of the cult's demand. The cult begins to scream in agony and then says, We awaken thee! We awaken thee, the ancient one! No. Come! The end comes! No. There is a rumbling Arf. sound coming from behind Andril. Oh, the it's a fist slime! The rises up yes. and stretches to a full... 16 feet oh. in height above you, oh. bones dangling off of it, its body covered in muck that has sucked down into the bones. I picked and the bone back as up. as <laughs> it rises, a head lops to the front, and it seems to be acting as the creature's Bobby. front eyes. The bone <laughs> flings out of Gwyn's mouth and, and flies into the creature like a lightsaber. <laughs> I'm the like, face, oh! The face that emerges from the creature and pops out the front is familiar, but twisted and horrifically named. It is <laughs> the mother, Elizabeth Ooh. Durst, that you had seen in the portrait earlier. But the one who was ruined. You deleted him again. When the father shh, had his. Shh, I'm trying to fix it before he notices. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> he noticed already. Oh man. <laughs> You've Changes now spawned in a. a I'll, I'll change icon. it before the next time. Okay, I promise. Yeah, yeah. Be, I promise. From an adventuring perspective, it is my duty as a GM to say that none of you have ever faced anything as terrifying or as formidable as this. Doggo's like, you. I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe we should leave. <laughs> you boss music. No combo encounter. I did no boss music because that would break copyright. <laughs> What there is, is no active Here, I will turn on active. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. I... Not bad, not bad. Cue Sephiroth music. Hey. Coochie, where are you at? Oh no. no. Oh no. Yeah, one winged angel. No, that actually works. Barum. Okay. Barum, you really need to be out of there quickly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Three works do, in do, my do, Okay. Dun, 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 I'm first, yes. I want to say I'm surprised, Tech Buck, but I'm just. <laughs> Gucci <laughs> Man said, I'm here, I heard Sephiroth. <laughs> I've come. Did you find oh, the picture of Tech Buck? Tech Buck. <laughs> oh, he got it, he got it. He's oh, yeah. And you built. Was that a, yeah. meant to be a private role or? No. Oh, okay. Shambling mound. He wants us to know yeah. when we are going to die. Um. Oh yeah, oh, and it also roll. gets a okay. So it's a boss fight. So. Mithras, Fair though. Enough. Okay. Uh, it's also just it has a dex of negative one as well. Keep that in mind. For yes, yeah, so that's a start doing it. So it's so it's a big chunky boy. The first one will be Gwyn Crane. You'll be after Gwyn. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm still doggo. You are still doggo. You are uh, partially above the water level. The bone has departed your mouth, and this is very obviously the strongest monster you have ever seen in your damn life. I would like to post up by the door that we came through okay. to shield my friends um, when they come through. <laughs> if you want to not go close to the beast and go up the stairs, you will have to leap out of the water onto the raised platform around okay. this edge. You okay. will have to make either an acrobatics or athletics check. You may pick which one. Let me see. Um, I'll do... What's my string? I'll do uh, uh, athletics. Alright, go for it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was looking at just right now. I was like, wait a second. You are just barely able to clear the ledge. You almost lose your footing as the water you splash up almost causes you to slip and fall back in. However, you're able to gain your footing and stand near the door. That ends your movement, however, it's fine. to it's fine. jump and get up there. Um, um, what are you doing now? Let me look really fast. Um... <clears throat> Keep in mind, you cannot cast spells as an animal yet. Right. That will come later. Um, I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stay. I'm just gonna post up. I'm just gonna stay here. Okay. Uh, you can say. Uh, uh, let me mention this real quick for all of our new people as well. If you don't use your action during your turn, but there's something you might want to specifically use it for, you can tell the GM I hold my action, but you have to state a specific condition that the action comes out. So, for example, uh, Gwyn could say that uh, she holds her action to bite anything that gets close. And that's a specific okay. enough condition that if later in the turn something gets close, she can have that saved action used later in the turn. Just mm, so y'all know. Yeah, you can do that. I figured Sick. that's what you want to do. You know, if something rolls up, you want to bite it. That makes yeah. sense as a hyena. Yes. All right, uh, <laughs> that brings us to Crane. I protect uh, my friends! Andril, you're going to be after Crane. Uh, can I try, can I try actually, like, opening this thing? You may attempt it, sure. You'll have to get Dude, you're a one. wizard. Okay. You're, you're, you're a, a real boy. Are you kidding? No, I got a huge strength. I got high strength. It's constitution I don't have. <laughs> uh, let's see where the... Meanwhile, the dog is like, Arr! Over here, over here. Oh, no check. Interesting. Doesn't say. How long should it take to raise the portcullis? Oh, oh wise tech bug. Ooh, good Too question. Uh, Where do we have a? Where is this located? Thirty-seven. Uh, is standing in it right now. Yeah, it is on section thirty-seven. Yeah, technically, um, the, I'm. The DC now. twenty strength is only if he's lifting it himself, which he's not doing. You're turning the actual thing. Right, he's turning the uh, he's turning the crank. It doesn't say a time, so I figure maybe it'll take maybe one or two actions to get it all the way open. Okay, uh, Crane, you start hauling. I think she's on attractive, the lever, yeah. And the portcullis grinds angrily upward, rusted chains screeching angrily in protest at the mo sudden movement after so long of uh, being immobile. And you manage to get it open part way, almost out of the water. It is buried in that two feet of water, but it is not quite there yet. Uh, and that burns your action and movement for this turn. You'll probably be able to get it more open later. All right, that brings us to Andril. Uh, Barum, you will be after Andril. Right? Yeah. He is measuring. <laughs> he doing a measure. Keep in mind. Um, let me get closer here. Attack of opportunity. No, he's actually five okay, feet. Good. Is there a reach on the creature tech bug? There's Greater not reach, but he There's is no. giant. He is right. giant, but it, he needs a reach of greater than five feet to get the attack of opportunity. Yes, but he does He but... does make all of those. He doesn't have it all those squares, correct? 
So it would um, technically depend on the square that you move into. If you move into this one, he, it technically would. Yeah, see where he's highlighting? I think I think it makes sense as a rogue he would like really skirt the extreme range and uh, probably, sure. Okay. We'll give it to him. Alright. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. You may continue. I like you for some reason. I don't know why, but you have traditionally been on my good side. I'm gonna have to remember that for later on. I gotta make it more fair. Wait, did you be ruling earlier? Oh yeah, no. I have a whole hold action. <laughs> no. All right, you made it up to Gwyn, aka Giant Hyena. Are you doing anything in particular? Oh, um, no. what was that like holding okay. action or something? Okay, um, you just have to specify in condition. Like, I am going to stab something if it gets close, or I'm going something. to push push something. Something. All right, if they get close. Good. Sounds good. That me and me and to... Andrew are posted up <laughs> by this exit. For Barum, mainly. <laughs> Me and my and one and HP. <laughs> Barum, no, come no, to no. us. I can't move yet. Bar. Why not? Yeah, Barum you rolled the. I I rolled the like lowest. No, I did. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're six yeah, oh, did. You barely I roll, made I it. I go after him. him. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's it is uh Barum then. Uh, creature in Mithras. If I help Crane, would that make the thingy turn faster? Or can only know, one it? person... Yeah, well, it might. It There's might. no telling until you do it. Well, I was just wondering if two people could work on it at one time. That's what I don't I was know. Asking. What do you think? It looks pretty big. I don't know. My goodness. Okay. I'm going to yeah, go help you... Crane Okay. try to open this thing. <laughs> two people Me and Andrew are just like... <laughs> <laughs> We're holding the door. It's because you people Everybody are blind. The other door. All right, you. Uh, Y'all are trying to get this heavy shit up, and we have a perfectly good exit. Crane, you now have an assistant, and it's making it significantly faster. It seems, but the portcullis is still not quite above water level yet. That burns Barum's turn, and that brings us to the mound. Wow! Slime. Bring your pretty face to Does my the mouth. slime make that? While the slime yeah, begins Mithras to assemble, just standing there. <laughs> he's like, "Yeah!" While the sl while oh, the slime me. begins it begins to assemble itself, it starts a fashion of like rolling forward, kind of like in a top spin, heavy sort of way. You see it kind of folding forward. All the priests are shouting angrily in its direction, and it uses the this momentum and the sheer anger of the uh, the priests from having their altar bashed in to rush forward uh, towards Mithros. <laughs> Climbing the Since stairs easily. It's rolling. It's a big boy rolling. It's a giant fucking thing, so. It's huge. So it's gonna roll roll forward and um Yeah, she really is. Try to uh hit Borum. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, her, with and her slam. music is Take Warning. that on disadvantage. No. There you go. A bright light flashes out from the top of the podium. <laughs> <laughs> 17. That's still this hit. Disadvantage. Holy shit. Oh man, well then let me roll my multi attack. Oh no. Ah, oh, 13. God damn it. Yeah, the 17 <laughs> hit. The warding player, how long does it last? Is so it just that one turn? 14? Oof. 14 yeah, damage. Does that count for both attacks? I'm just curious. Um, when you're attacked by a creature within third of theater of you, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Yeah, it's just on the, one. the attack roll. It's just the one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, it wouldn't. The other one didn't matter. But 14 damage. <laughs> so the thrust goes down. The thrust <gasps> is knocked to the ground. No. Fuck. Oh really? Oh man, I wasn't even keeping track of HP. <laughs> I was yep. gonna nope. say. I just wanted to hit you because of the altar thing. Nope. Yeah, I, if I had been at full, it would I would have survived. But I would. Yeah, I thought you were gonna live. Oh well, then that just got a lot more interesting, didn't it? Boys? <laughs> I don't have a spell. The chanting intensifies. The end comes. Get One me must me. die. One must die. No. One might die. <laughs> One might die. <laughs> My well, love might die. All right, Mister Five. Say, I have to hit my death save now. He's got him. 
Did you did you send a message, message check bug? I know. Okay. Just saying sure. Alright, uh is that the Shambling Mounds turn? Yeah. Me check. Multi attack actually. Moved. I think that should be. So it. probably that's probably it, yeah. Yeah. It it glowers. And the move was kind of fucky in the first body. place, so mm -hmm. I'll count that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that brings us to well, Mithras. So Mithras now has to uh, make we'll his first save. death save. Death save. Do 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 Rex is like just normal things, not even like concerned. <laughs> This is the first oh, time okay. I've ever been close to dying, okay? Yeah, this I'm is like, the first time you've ever been knocked out. This is like a brand new experience. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, I actually created passed. a character that might die. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, pass your first death save, so make that check mark. You will need yeah. two and more it's, to oh, return to conscious. Or not return it's only because you're level two. two. Yeah. It's not even because you're like, got, you're squishy. You just happen to be level two. We come to the second round. <clears throat> it will be Gwyn's turn. Um, Crane and Barham are both preoccupied by the lever and hearing the screech of the beach and the slamming sound and an angry roar from Mithras as he retorts, but then it's cut short. And Gwyn and Andril are the ones who see Rex or Mithras hit the ground heavily. And it is Gwyn's turn, which will be followed by Crane. That's interesting, Deadbolt. Did you happen to notice the, uh, the radius here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I built it that way. Ah, oh, I see. Good to know. <laughs> um. Shit. What are you doing, Gwen? Let me check. There's um. a frozen moment in time where the mound looks hungrily down at Mithras with the door. Do you guys want to know his name? He's got a name. Yeah, what's his name? His name is Lord Goth the Decayer. Oh. Oh, lovely. He shakes very vividly when you say his name. It's like a cat when you spank their butt and their back goes... <laughs> I... am... My doggo form uh -huh. is stolen with fear at seeing the creature. Um, I do not help Mithras. Does it say you get just going to leave his ass? Yeah. Gasp. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> New well, character, I, I, here I, I come! Like, save his butt and everybody died. <laughs> right. No, what Crane's way too cautious for that. This door, bitch has done me wrong! <laughs> the door lies open behind you, Gwen. What do you do? I'm not even... I'm gonna... It's very open. You can feel the draft. It's coming through the door. It's very cold. You can feel it. It's open. It's open. What are you... I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna stay... There's hope yet? <gasps> I'm going to stay and save my action. Oh, 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 oh to do what? To do right what? There? What are you doing? Yes, the bite, I'm staying bite, right bite? there. And I'm going to be, uh, like, gesturing to uh, Andrew like to gest go through the door. Oh my <laughs> She's got balls. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> She's like, do it, go. She's just pointing like, like a hound. <laughs> yeah, and whispering like, my ears down. I'm like... <laughs> It really is Scooby Doo, but Fred's about to die. <laughs> yeah, um, but I, I'm not leaving. All right, not leaving. Holding action. Understood. I steal. That brings us to Crane. The door's not quite open yet. You'd have to burn another action trying to lift it. What's the Scooby Doo? Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. If I burn an action. It... I would still be able to move if it got high enough, right? If it got high enough, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Er, yeah, I'm just gonna try to keep opening it. Okay. You continue hauling with Barham, and you get to a point where you can see the portcullis start to rise above the water. Um, there's about two or three feet of clearance. If you wanted to crawl through at this point, you would have to put the... There is a mechanism on the crane, or the... Not the crane, on the... On the portcullis wheel the crane. that allows you to stop its movement, but you would have Barham. to crawl underneath and hope that you're fast enough to escape at this point. Or you Barham, can roll a strength check to assist. Yeah, Barham, roll strength to assist. Let's see if it gets higher. Okay. 
Because, I mean, three feet's high, high enough for me to get under, but well, not far. You can crawl, but, yeah. It would slow you down. Nice. Oh, okay. You mm. want to say it's high enough they can crawl under in one yes. move? Yes. Because they could kind of duck under. Okay. It is high enough where if you wanted to use your movement, you would be able to duck under. You'd be mostly underwater, but, you know, the okay. thing is freaking terrifying. So Yeah, under I think that's what we're going to do is just lock it and then move under and All get right. out. Then go ahead, Crane, because it's still your turn, so you would okay. go first. Uh, let me measure. I don't know how much. Your quickest far slash most scared. Yeah. According to initiative. <laughs> oh, it's locked still. <laughs> I can't Amos, move. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I want that. I want. Hey, <laughs> let me help. Let me help. He's drowning. Oh, 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 oh. oh, no, 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 no. I only got two health. You still have. You're... Actually, you don't have an action anymore. Sorry. Uh, I was about to say you still have action, but you just burned that opening the door and you use your movement to go around the corner. You're just like standing straight up, leaning forward, like all the way, touching your toes with your face in the water, like, I can't breathe. Oh, I'm us slightly to... panicked. My wisdom doesn't last very long in that. That brings us to Andril. My wisdom doesn't last. You have enough separate. wisdom to know that you will die if you have your face exactly, under the water. That, if I but, would. <laughs> but you don't have enough intelligence to know that your face is under the water because you're forward like that. <laughs> Which is funny because my intelligence is so freaking high. Andrew, what are you doing? Gwyn. Reverse that. Can, you, can I push stop? Gwyn through the door? You could. You could I don't know. Can no! you? No! It would be a uh, strength check. Don't That's do it. That's a big it. doggo too. Don't do it, dude. I'm too large. I'm too large. Have... Just go. It's so not... they don't have uh they, they don't have CMD and CMB on this, do they? No, there's none of that. It's a Pathfinder thing. thing. Yeah, it's just it's mostly just a strength thing. Go ahead I don't know, man. I'm starting to think Pathfinder's thing. a little bit better. <laughs> well, I mean that's typical. Andrew begins to push. That's typical. On the right. giant hyena. Um, I'm the like hyena snapping still, at him. Yeah, I... the hyena is standing its ground, watching Mithras, but still kind of frozen in action. I'm nipping. I'm nipping. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Andrew? <laughs> the wind is not moving. Fuck it, brother. Good, go. Andrew disappears inside the door. Run! <laughs> All right, you can get your 30 feet of movement done, Andrew, as far as you can go. Uh, it's Barham's turn. Okay. All right. You finish latching the device and you feel Crane slam the stop mechanism and like a dart he is under that <laughs> gate into the next room and gone out of sight. Uh, I mean, I follow. Um, okay. You are not surprised. <laughs> you no, know, I'm thinking the same thing and I, I go, oh. Barms is really old, limping along and then just like, swimming. Oh. Meanwhile, Dunk Mithras down. is literally like, Almost and... dead on the altar. Well, hey, to All be right. fair, you mentioned that Crane and I didn't even notice, so. Uh, they were busy turning the mechanism, is what I ruled. We're just like, get the, yeah. get the fuck heard, You're not wrong, but I mean. Cut short. I said the screen was cut short. They're, they could be aware, but fear of the creature is totally a motivator here. This thing is horrifying and gigantic. Um, <laughs> You're moving in further. I Barham moved in like this. I don't... In and makes it as far as he can into the room yeah. following Crane. The only idea, you know, get further away, get some distance on this thing. Um, I assume you guys have noticed, but the artist from Hearthstone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, it's that. an acidic swamp ooze. I <laughs> yeah. knew it was something like that. You, I was you like, guys, I'm sitting I, here the whole time going, why do I know this? No, right? I was like, I recognize that. <laughs> this is off topic, but I swear to God, if you Google shambling mound bones, it seems like something you would have like a billion results for. Nah, there's like two, and they both suck. Nothing. I have really it's the it's the strangest thing I've ever seen. I've never Googled something and what like, needed it that creature, bad. Every other creature we pulled out of the porch has art, and this is yeah. one creature that doesn't have art. So we had to go. They're like them. meh. Okay, yeah, like well, it's, it's so scary. It's Discord. It's, it's just so a weird. Capture. Yeah. All right. So bomb disappears. Yeah. Goodbye. And at this point, fuck this shit. I'm out. The mounds. <laughs> uh, tech bug. Just real quick, notice the message. It, he can still have his action, but you might want to do this for Gwyn. The door slams shut anything. next to Gwyn. <gasps> <gasps> the cultists are motioning towards the door. The wall shakes like it's alive. The house oh, is alive itself. 
they all stare at Gwyn and start marching forward and they say, One must die. One must die. One must die. Where are they coming from? Oh yeah. They're all the bay, they're, they're all around all the um the, the, voices, the priests. Right? Yeah. The okay. voices of like the area. The voices sound like they're right next to you, like almost verbally pushing you forward. And the mound hovers over Mithras. Roll a perception check. We'll say it's perception, sure. That's fair, yeah. Yes. Uh, hang on. Poor I have, I'm trained. I'm sorry, Wix. Um, so it says skills perception plus three, passive perception 13 <laughs> on hyena. So roll your perception plus three. Right, roll d20 plus three for your hyena. Mm. Okay. You are perceiving this through stupid hyena eyes. <laughs> hyena eyes? Uh, uh. So this is plus two, so I'm just going to add one to it. Fair enough. Doggle? Huh? So, okay. so, your dog intuition and the fact that you've been like slowly evolved with humans for thousands of years and have gone God. through many phases of of uh, old school cultism are able to recognize that uh, the uh, the voices. Is very... There is an easy way out here. This is no blame. There's an, there's an easy way out. Uh, Mithras is almost dead, right? Mithras is unconscious, so, bleeding on the floor. He is I dead. mean, you know, if it, all the voices are telling you I mean, to, that something must, must die. die, and I I'm mean, he's right sacrifice. there. One must die. No. I mean, what, are you going to sacrifice the Shambling Mound? I don't know if that's going to work that good. <laughs> he's all no. squishy. The knife is going to go right through him, you know? First of all, I don't even have a knife. Second of all. <laughs> Don't do the knife. No, I'm not doing that. Well, then what are you doing? Oh, that's okay. You have a dagger. Is it my turn? She's a That'll hyena. work perfectly. Oh, no, but she has a dagger in her weapons. But mm -hmm. can she use it as a hyena? <laughs> she's, got, she's got teeth. Okay, okay. She's it's, no. to do. it's like he's no, a yeah, sword you do have and the he's teeth. got the keyblade in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. no, right. I'm not, I'm not good at it. Just Jurassic Park and stick one claw on Fine. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that freaks yeah, me yeah. out every time. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I mean, roll, roll, um, roll religion. Roll religion. Ooh. I mean, she knows you what's being religion. requested of her here. She just needs oh, to yeah, make I a know. decision. She understands. <laughs> As so did I, which is why I left. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, look, there's already one dude gun conscious over there. Time to go. No, technically, that's a zero. You're like, yeah, oh, because yeah. I hate the dark. I'm dumb dog right I don't now. know who Jesus is, or <laughs> <laughs> but all dogs go to heaven. God <laughs> must die. One must die. One must die. Who knows, they AC? The chanting. door might have One shut in between die. you and pushed her out. Never know. What do you do? What's your decision? Quick, Gwen. What do you do? The door's shut, right? I just want to be in here so that way I can see. It's, it's starting to sound like if you don't kill one, then see. maybe two must die. There we go. <laughs> I'm not actually in here. I just want to see. <laughs> I'm not actually no, I want in to witness. here. So <laughs> I want to witness her choice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when Gwyn falls from grace. No. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. That's so loud. I may be dumb doggo, but I am, I am still good hearted. Oh. So what do you do, Gwen? What do you She's do? going to sacrifice her frog self. There's no one in the room. It's just me and the slime demon. Shut the slime demon. Shambling mouth. Shambling mouth. Uh -oh. <laughs> Shambling mouth. My ears. I'm gonna. They do bleed. <laughs> I block for Mithras. All right. Good decision. So the 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 shambling mound's gonna take an attack of opportunity on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nineteen. It hits, obviously. Oh. Good to know. Can you Eleven. move your token to be uh, right beside 
Mithras, just so I yep. can access it. Thank you. Okay. I assume you're with Mithras, but it'll make yes. it easier to see. All right. 11, 11 points of damage. The oh. hyena form remains, although yes. it is very close to being done for. Okay. Okay. Is it my turn still? Nope. Multi-attack. Or did you... No, no attack of opportunity. Oh, those are just opportunity. Well, it's still your turn, technically. The mound's turn. Unless you're saying you skipped it for the... Oh, is it the mound's turn now? Yeah, the mound. The mound's turn was do your job, Gwen. You know, for the... Oh, oh no, no, no. Fuck both these guys, though. <laughs> Does not hit. Does not hit. Doesn't hit. Okay, so is it the top of my round, then, when I make that first move? Because then I get um, a second one. What do you mean, top of the... Well, because I got attack of opportunity, of opportunity right. and then it so goes to the top around. Slam. Then you did another slam. Do you have multi attack? Because you're not using the multi attack. I do attack. have multi attack. Using... Oh, you do have multi attack. Which, oh, which is 25, by the way. That one is the second one. So he he still got multi attack even though he did the first well, one? Well, multi attack, the uh, attack of opportunity uses his reaction, and then the multi attack is his action. Action, okay. yeah. Because you got close to try to block for Rex. That's fine. All right, another yeah. hit. Roll, go ahead and roll damage. Go ahead and roll damage. I can't no, 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 the thing, 13. The hyena form drops. And it does? Yep, because you it mm -hmm. had 3 HP remaining after the 11 damage done uh, oh, okay. by I a thing. So that I drops. added it together then with my thing. Then you take 10 damage 10. to your normal So what, form. she is at 4 or 5? She is at 4. four. Yeah. Cool. Wait, how did you have your hyena HP listed separately? Yeah, it yeah. was listed separately earlier. I did in my. That's show. correct. Do you remember how much it was? Because all I correct. have is your current HP. I was... No, I had it. I had it in the max area too. Oh, okay, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there's a temp and max, so you can expand it with that. Gwyn darts in, in front of Mithras, blocking the fatal blow, refusing to give in to the cult's demand. The hyena form drops away as the creature almost seems to rip it away, slamming its weight I'm down naked. into Gwyn's body. Just... There's only. Three HP remaining for Gwyn, and it is becoming something else all entirely. Barum's no, Mithras's turn. Mithras needs to make another death save. <laughs> one fail. Who man? One. Well, I'm, I I must admit, you guys, this is not how I expected it to turn out, but I am pleased. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, that brings us to, well, up to Gwent, round three. Um, I'm gonna round three. Fight. use my form again. Oh, right. that's only really round three. Shape. Yeah, it's only round three, can you believe it? Um, oh. I'm gonna transform into Direwolf. Direwolf it is. You watch, uh, anybody who cares to be watching at this point, <laughs> noticing no, the silence, <laughs> everybody just, everybody just milling around at the entrance okay, now, great job. sees, uh, Gwyn assume a form almost the size of the mound. The wolf is so large, almost 10 feet tip to tail, and she grows into this wolven form. Would you like to describe your wolven form, Gwyn? It's up to you how it looks. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will give you. He a... is a dog. He is wolf. He is seen... great. Have you seen the Twilight series? Did you watch Game of Thrones? No. Frog, Frog, I did not hear you just say that. Try again. No, We're gonna keep good. going. We're um, gonna just move on. It looks very similar to Jacob's form. Um, it's a large Who's brown Jacob? wolf with I'm light glad we brown left her. undertow. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, it looks like that. That's doggo. Big oh, Barum, I see you wanted to join me in the entry. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Never mind, I it can have die. An exit, <laughs> either. Okay, so I'm leaving your main token there. Oh, did you move it to the side? Okay. Um, the dire wolf. Never is mind. Your token. You should be able to control it, Frog. Okay. Yes, I can. Okay. I Wait. It, ha it should have all the abilities on it as well. No, I cannot. Cannot? All right, let me see if it's I can gone. fix it. It's gone. Everything's mm -hmm. gone. I can't see anything. Why is it gone? It's all <laughs> dark. <laughs> Everything's dark. I've already died I, 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 I stealth her token. Oh, okay. You stealth her main token. That's yeah, what that's what happened. Yeah. Um. Configure permissions. Okay, let's uh, let's place our bets now. Are they gonna are they gonna survive? <laughs> 
Okay, mm, you should place your bets. Place now. your bets. You but would you would be placing bets, you fucking trash bard. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking trash betting one HP bard. Oh yeah, I got one HP, but you know what we can still roll some bones, boys, you and the fucking thief out there. Good <laughs> good yeah. And the wizard surprise. <laughs> Can you control the dire wolf now? I made you the owner oh, of the of the character sheet. <laughs> I'm supposed to like click it, right? Like yeah, click you it. click it and then you can. No. It's still moving you. Yeah, it um, shows a red box around it. A red box. Configure red permission. box. Round dun, dun, dun. frog owner. Shambling mount. <sighs> Shambling mount. Didn't I just make you the owner, Rex? And that work? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, well, they're figuring this out. I'll be right back. Yeah. I will be right back. Just for yeah, now's questions. A, now's a good time for a bio break. Just for questions. Take a Speaking saying, of. Uh, yeah. could I fit under the cave as a dire wolf? That is a great question that you can find out when you try to fit through the gate. I feel like I probably can't, so there's, like, no point, but... I mean, you'd have to find out by trying if you wanted to try. I don't think they... Token name. Hovered. By owner, represented actor, Gwyn, update token. All right, try now. Red box. There's a red box. Red box. Red box, red box. Red box red of box. denial. I think it's because for I'm my stuff, crazy. if you recall, for me, you had a separate character sheet. I did. I, I have one here. Token. You have a character sheet for the direwolf? For the direwolf, yeah, because I figured out how to actually, like, pull Does it down. Does the character sheet belong to Gwyn? Yes, that's the way I've set it up. Oh. Yeah, round frog owner. Hey, um, hey, owner. hey, I do not know. Hmm. You should tell Anthony to play Smash Bros. with us on Sundays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have Smash Bros. Arena Sundays. I will, uh, I will tell the... him. Did the... Wait, what happened to the wolf? Tyler is too cowardly to play in the arena with me. <laughs> now can you see it, bro? <laughs> he will commentate all day, but he will not not actually True. play. And he doesn't know any commentary terms, so it's not even like... Oh, <laughs> you're talking I'm as the wolf now. now. It should work. Arf. Yes! Arf, right, arf, arf. Arf. I, arf. Arf. Uh, I always call him... I, I, I always use his real life name because I always fuck it up, so I just gave up like two years ago, so. I, I tried for like two months and I couldn't do it, so I gave up. Alright, Gwyn, aka Direwolf, it is your turn. That's okay, I'm probably not. Uh, the hey, bar Daniel. Probably is not gonna die, so it's fine. You should play Smash Bros. next Sunday with us. The... Not this Sunday, next Sunday? I can't. Next okay, Sunday, yes. I'm having an issue. I cannot see anything. I can only okay. see the token. Uh, yeah. I'll oh, see you if can't I can see anything? See if I can do. That's weird. We do arenas every Sunday night, or every Sunday night. Every Sunday night, I feel up to doing it, is basically what I mean. <laughs> when I feel yeah, like so it. When Round Frog isn't streaming for Sunday. Yeah, exactly. That's why I didn't, uh, that's why I didn't stream actually on Sundays, because Stella's doing, uh, can you what see stuff it? down? I forget. Bro? I don't remember. No! Soma. Yes, Soma. That's Soma. a really old it game, is isn't that? Isn't no, that game yeah, from like 97? No. No. No? no. no? This is like a newer one. No. Yeah, that is it a remake? 20... I know, right? 2018, I think. Uh, really? Yeah. It's oh, it's 2015. Uh, does the, does yeah. the wolf have dark vision, Rock? The wolf uh, does have dark vision, I think. No, it's a remake though, isn't it? Does possibly? I'm not positive. That though. I'm not sure, honestly. It just has passive perception, stealth. Oh, Why I guess it's... can she not? I guess it does that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, I don't want to waste a ton of time doing this. So, um, I mean, you've got the mound right next to you on okay. the platform. You've got Mithras essentially underneath you. You are yeah. uh, towering over him. Uh, behind you is the gate through which Barum and Crane exited. Mm -hmm. It is about 15 feet behind you, and the gate is only partially risen. Um, uh -huh. Like I said, a bit of a guess if you'd be able to fit or push your way under. Um, you've got the mound, you know, able to make an attack of opportunity if you decide to leave its grasp. 
and then you've uh -huh. got the door that closed beside you. Maybe it could be forced open again. You're not sure. Those are your options, essentially, unless there's something else you would like to try to do. You got to get a giant sword to keep it in your mouth like that giant dog boss. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Sir, Sir Sif, what is his name? Sif. 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 Yeah. Sif. Yeah. Sif. That's pretty fucking cool. Rest uh, Sif. Rip. It's a heartbreaking I, boss fight. Well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> uh, no, you don't definitely murder a giant doggo just protecting a grave of his master. While he limps around attack. carrying a big old sword and whimpering. Do your attack, then. All right, do your attack. Uh, D20, right? Well, you should be able to click on your uh, wolf your token bite. and actually bite. Because oh. you should have a character sheet for this wolf now. Oh, I see. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> bite. Uh, well, bite you do yeah, you hit attack and you hit normal. <coughs> Great. <laughs> uh oh. He does not hit. Does not. I wonder why. Do you want to do anything else with your turn? You still have your movement. No. All right. Stay in your range. That brings us to uh, a Crane. Because uh, Gwyn disappeared off the track, but I know you're first. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get I mean, you. <laughs> the same reason why I moved in so I could actually not see the action. Back in there. What does two HP buy me? This is definitely not what I thought was going to happen. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Legit. I've come to talk with you again. Because. I felt sighing. All right, Tyler. You know what we have to do, Beautiful. right? Beautiful. It's what yes. we discussed earlier. I know what we have to do. No. Types loudly to me. What do we have to do? Right. I, I, I haven't even, Aggressive I haven't even typing. looked at it yet. I haven't looked at it. Let's see what it says. What the fuck are we doing? Who? Hmm. <laughs> Crane has to figure out what he's doing so we can message you back and forth until Crane decides. Oh, okay. No, hmm. don't do it. Don't do it. So. <clears throat> They indeed come to that, Mithras. <laughs> Can I... Okay, this is some... Oh, I'm strong enough, though. Yes, forlorn doggo. <sighs> How heavy is Mithras? How heavy is Mithras? Probably quite chunky. I mean, big, beefy dragonborn, stuck in scale mail armor with all of his clergy articles on him. We're talking, like, minimum 300 pounds with Kit. Mm. Thoughts? Yeah, I agree. I'm trying to save okay. me. Oh, yeah, I'm no, I'm not going to... back in there. But, but like, damn how... Because I was well, thinking about using... Well, the Necromancer and the Bard aren't going to save their friends. Wow, what a twist. I was thinking of using... The Necromancer, the Bard, use... and the Rogue. Is I was thinking anything... of trying to use Unseen Servant, but it only has a strength of two, so I don't think it would be able to actually pick up Mithras. Probably not. It does. Mm -mm. It, it no, he's got armor and shit. Servant, yeah, that may be able to drag him, but it wouldn't really be unnoticed. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> just... Just as an aside, because I know you would probably know this in character, uh, not so much, you know, uh, outside Noodle. Um, mm -hmm. Crane would probably be trying to think of ways to at least inconvenience the beast and maybe give Gwyn a chance to escape. Because uh, obviously going back in there is the worst decision everybody does. Yeah. Preserving something is best, but what Gwyn needs at this moment is every advantage she can get. And you have abilities that can impose disadvantage on creatures yeah. you hit, which is probably your best bet at this moment. Uh, I guess, can I, like... Mm. Help me, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, damn you. <laughs> can I, can this I is frog. Actually... 
<laughs> Did Frog just turn into Squidward looking at SpongeBob? Help me, damn you. <laughs> help, help me, damn Help me, damn you, SpongeBob and Patrick. This is literally SpongeBob and Patrick behind Why am them. I speaking? <laughs> 16. It is not I who uh, have spoken those words. All right, what you doing, Crane? <clears throat> who is this? It's your dire wolf. Why is my dire wolf talking? Because you are a dire wolf right now. No, I'm not uh, typing. Can I oh. try? Oh! I guess I'm going to use, uh, from standing in the other room, I'm going to use <laughs> Ray of Frost because it's got 60 feet uh -huh. range. Oh, God. And gonna I'm just going to try to hit it with cold. Frog, real quick, try to, try to refresh the page. It might refresh your vision, too. Because uh, we'll Oh, I can see thing. things now. Oh, good, good. Yeah, All right, sorry, go ahead and hit him. Go ahead and hit him with the ranged range. attack. Oh wow! Hit him with that I can just sit him at the, the, the back here. <laughs> you sure can. You can casually sit in the back. Shambles intensely. I know. <laughs> All right, oh, Crane. Let's right. see the numbers. I might have Somebody needs to right. needs to hit something. Yeah, seriously. Nope. Oh. Ooh, that's a big boy shot. God. Nope. No hit. <laughs> That's movement in action. Is that all yeah. you're gonna do, Crane? Anybody wanna Shining like thing? figure figure anything out about this giant fucking thing that's running at you or I think we're fucking too scared to do that. I mean Have a think for a second. Have a think, Crane. <laughs> have a think. Why don't you do that? Roll an intelligence. Why don't you have a think, you Roll fucking idiot? Alright, we'll we're we're, we'll inventor. have a think. Let's we'll have Andrew's a think. Turn. Oh, that's not what I want. Let's go to Andrew's turn. What? Crane isn't allowed to have a think? He, he can make He's having think, a think. Yeah, in the interim. Oh, okay. Because it's not going to resolve until his next turn anyway. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to do anything, so it doesn't matter. Not a Andrew bonus action. emerges into the reliquary, sees Barham, thankfully, sees Crane, uh, doesn't see a fourth person, importantly. Or a fifth person. Or a fifth person. Well, fifth person he probably didn't expect to see, but... <laughs> Are you doing anything in particular, Andrew? Do you scream at other people? Shut my mouth! Go take your three HP collectively and go help her. Shut my mouth! <laughs> just stab. Stab him. Just stab him. Yeah, you guys are so fucking weird. Like, half of you are like mega tanks, and the other half, like, don't touch me with that paper. Please. For real, I'm though. Please. Let the Please, that paper is dirty. I'm hoping we can get All right, Andrew, at least one of them out of there. In position to do, you can actually shoot if you wanted to as well. You right, you have the hand crossbow. He can shoot. He has a uh, hand crossbow, I believe, right? If, if you want, because you've used your movement, you could go ahead and shoot this turn. Um, yeah, you can make the attack there. Do not hit the wolf. <laughs> do not. Yeah, it's not a right. guarantee. Yeah. Right. Not right enough. in the right in the butt. You're about Up to have another butt. tail. Well, thank you. The twin-tailed wolf. <laughs> the twin-tailed wolf. God, dude. It, that is he misses. Yeah. These kids <laughs> are so shit right now. All right, that brings us to Barm. Hey, at least we're trying. <laughs> uh, we're Crane, trying to help you. Crane, I assume you're gonna keep trying to uh, help. Yeah. Shooting. Okay, then I am going to give him my bardic inspiration. Oh, there you go. Um. You have a one d six that you can use on an attack or ability check, Crane. Okay. okay. And you should probably use it on your next turn so she can give our yeah. Yeah. So she, she can, can give, you, it, give it, to it to someone else. else. Yeah, exactly. Um anything else? And then I I think I'm going to head down here actually and try to get the door open from this side for her. Okay. Yes, Trying to leave a way out. All right. Yeah. You um, can make your movement that direction. Okay. That brings us I'm to how the mouth. <laughs> The mound. The mound. mound. Traveling mound. Traveling mound. Would you like Rolls to, to attack? Make... Okay. Gwyn, make a uh, perception check while the mound is attacking. Barely hits. Make a perception okay. check. Mm hmm. I'm and roll on. damage mound. I'm trained. Do I do advantage? No, trained just means it adds your per. Uh, you add the plus to it. You, you have an extra plus, basically. 
so it added three, so then do I do it again? No. Okay. No, that's what you get. Yeah. Also take nine damage. You also take nine Got damage. Got it. Slam again. Oof. Obviously hits. This thing don't that's miss. It really doesn't. Roll damage. Ooh. Nine. I'm gonna have to go. Like, I have no other option. Engulf! Oh no. What the fuck is this? I'm not a medium or smaller creature. She's fuck not. You. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. I'm a giant dire wolf, bitch. <laughs> Shambling mound made mistake. Thought. I mean, <laughs> she, isn't, she isn't a medium creature. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, so it's gonna be like that now, huh? Okay. What do you oh, mean? Oh, okay. She's, she's giant. giant. But, I'm yeah. oh, okay. the size of you. Yeah, she's like ten feet. <laughs> However. No, 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 no. It passes. It's okay. Uh huh. <laughs> However, no, it's okay. As the creature attempts to, it seems like the creature is not only attempting to pummel the ever-loving shit out of Gwyn, but yeah. it's also trying to engulf it. Actually encompass its form and make Gwyn's dire with form part of it. As it does so, Gwyn thinks she hears something. A faint sound emanating from within the center of the beast itself. Gwyn, I'm going to say if you want... It, it's going to sound weird now, but if you want uh... to hear this later, you can choose to be in Gwyn. What, uh, what, what, uh, uh, let's throw another, another loop into this. Roll okay. a strength check. Okay. Be strong. Because this is how you would do it in this superior game, Pathfinder. <laughs> I'm not arguing that. d, &D is oh. just easier. Excellent. Okay. So. The, uh, the mound tries to engulf you. You resist just enough to know that you're you're able to snap its grip at any moment if you want to. It's like that moment in arm wrestling when you know you can just like flop the other person on the ground if you want to, but you just like stand in there. I've never had those moments. I was about to say. Neither, neither have I, but I've dreamed of them, so I know what they feel like. I know what it feels like. I'm an eldest brother, so I know that feeling quite well. Yeah, exactly. When you're just like... So, you can choose if you want to, to have it engulf you again there is a sound different more high-pitched more real human? more human coming from within the mouth more you meanwhile the chanting is still going on around you but it's all ghostly shrieky angry ritualistic crying but there's something it's all else. kind of dulled down a little bit by like this sound is just like slightly a bit more clear clarity and everything else kind of like fades into the background. You can hear it above everything else just a tiny bit. At the noise that I hear from within the beast, I perk my ears up and release my strength. Okay. Allow You're engulfed. myself to be engulfed. <laughs> the dire wolf disappears into the interior of slime. the mound. <laughs> Goodbye, slime. Um. All right. So, do you want her to go ahead and roll? With the final yeah, one, roll Might now. as well. All right, round, uh, Gwen, g roll yes. a d4. D4. Roll a d4. Okay. Meanwhile, we're gonna come back to Mithras and have him roll his death save. Mm. Three. Okay. Mm, okay, I like. Ooh, second Fucking fail. Mithras, come on, bro. <laughs> He's only got one more round in him. <laughs> we managed to figure out the trick and Mithras still dies. <laughs> well, well, shit. <laughs> was it really Kuchu, man? Hmm, didn't know that. Angry typing, angry typing, angry typing. <clears throat> uh, so now... Mithras has finished. We come back up to Gwyn's turn. Do you want Gwyn to make a second roll, Techbug? Yes. All right. Roll another Same D4. Thing. Yep. Another okay. D4. Four. Okay. Two. It's going 
going down. I just going got down. so much time in. I know. So are we gonna kill her yet, or is this Going's gonna? Going is in gold. Technically, that is a. Uh... Yeah, uh, Gwyn is engulfed, so... I was going to say, we have, have to, to do damage, up. right? Right, we do have to do damage. Um, I figure we can do that on the mound's turn. Let's let's lump Gwyn's turn with the mound's turn and let everybody else take it. Yeah, we might as well. We have to do something here. And what is that? see the water turn. disappear yeah. inside, water and wine. it is now uh, Crane's turn. I am confused. But now I'm not so sure you, uh... if I should just be blasting this thing with magic, because the wolf just let itself do it. fucking eat. Just do it! <laughs> Just do it. All right, Love all right. It. We're just gonna okay. we're just gonna blast it with some magic, I guess. Some magic. We're just gonna we're just gonna what? blast what? it with some magic. We're trying to slow it down, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna blast <laughs> it with some magic. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, and it has it. Wait, how does the? Okay, never mind. I'll just roll and then bardic inspiration after. Oh. Nice. That, nice. That should hit, right? I mean, it's a twenty. That hits. So. All right. I'm just, I'm letting Tech Bug decide. All right. Roll okay. the damage. And roll for damage, sir. Has its speed reduced. Nice. Nice. By ten to eight, start its next turn. Eight, eight damage. And also, good. I have the damage. Bardic Inspiration. So how do I? So that? does that add to damage or it add to? It doesn't add to damage. It's only for an. Attack adds a hit. Roll. I thought. Yeah. Okay. So you actually technically still have it because you didn't roll it on the. So you shoot the ray of frost at the uh, the uh, giant shambling mound. A piece of it gets frozen and chips off, and it looks like it's the been shattered for out. a bit. But a couple <laughs> seconds later, some more ooze just flows forward and regrows. A dire wolf tail sticks it out looks like for nearly a moment. <laughs> it looks like it barely did anything to it. I thought you weren't a dire wolf anymore. No, I nope, am. she is. She's still a dire wolf. I wasn't wolf a now. giant hyena. I'm a dire wolf now. I thought, for some reason, I thought no, you she said didn't you release it. released it yeah. to be engulfed. She got it beat she's out not, of her. She's not a hyena wolf. anymore. She is a wolf now. Uh, okay, so that is Crane's turn. Are you doing anything else in particular, Crane? No. All right, that brings us to Andril. Haven't you been Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. We have to do his intelligence things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did roll the intelligence check. Go ahead. Oh, uh, not yet. Hang on. Do I just oh, yeah. do a oh, regular yeah. ability check? I would just do regular Do a d20 plus your intelligence, yeah. Yeah. Okay, normal. Okay. Let's see if we, let's see if Gwyn Okay, ever I mean, goes. um, okay, so you can <laughs> ask, um, I'll say you can ask one question about the Shambling Mound. I like how Techbook defaults to Labyrinth rules. This is lies. this what is what my DM I'm used to do. Sure so, I'll ask her when I get Fair an enough. opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I'm used to. I, I it kind of like adds like an extra like oh okay I can know this sort of thing. What is the core week. of this creature? Be mine. Uh, explain your question, sir. What is the core of the creature? As in, it's a usually with like ooze like or slime. Sadness? There's something that actually. No. I'm gonna say sadness. <laughs> Would you like him to make a perception check? Oh, he might oh, it. okay. Oh, okay. No, no, no. What's tell him? Tell him what the ooze is, Tyler. Oh, you know what? Crane. Is we haven't explained that. He might have figured out what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't explained that. Tell him. Crane is a highly intelligent individual, unlike his great game masters. So. Uh, and unlike his real world persona. Yeah, I'm like I'm like his noodle persona. So whatever. Hi, I like noodle. Crane is the thing in his usual wizard ways about what might have gone on. Magic is rarely without cause. Something must have occurred for something this powerful to be planted here. Wait, and but who gone. is the Shambling Mound? First of all, he had the hint about who the Shambling Mound was. You actually heard that, right, Noodle? It actually yes. legit is who it is, yes. Oh. Elizabeth Durst. <laughs> I'm not even fucking with person, Elizabeth Durst, was enraged at her husband having an affair with the nursemaid, whom you presumably put to rest upstairs. The nursemaid was taking care of the bastard's son, who you still haven't found. There you go, coochie man. 
Does that put How the pieces together for you? Who you still haven't found. Like Very unusual that you haven't found him yet. Because the even the real brother and sister, Rose and Thorn, who yeah. lured you yeah. into the house to try to take care of the brother, were telling you the brother's downstairs. We yeah, were trying to help find answer. him, and now we can't locate him. And, and, and that's, that's very odd that everywhere. you... It's very odd that you happen to search, like, basically every odd and end of the entire place, you know? Was... Did she actually sacrifice the child? Maybe. It's the pieces are clicking together in crazy. Oh my mind. goodness. And you, the, it, you become aware as well. It's Gwen, okay. Or not Gwen, sorry. Crane. It's been that way that since Gwen I got one HP because I'm being a lot more cautious. The creature so I don't might die. have been that weird thing she does where she has some kind of in, druid intuition moment and is trying to do something about it. But she might. She's all like, oh, I'm not able and you're all like, because Ooh. of the fact I have like. And oh, oh, no, no, I can no, speak no, the doggo no. language. Those are the pieces we'll give you, Crane. Okay. I do have speak with animals now. Um, you have they are Lego 4x4. Four four. And we're now going to uh, Andrew. At this point. Andrew yeah. sees the wolfie. Once it's swallowed hopefully. up and it's big sad. Hopefully. It does nothing. It's big sad. Does nothing. It big sad. It does nothing. Gets the big um, sad. Probably once I'm able to turn, long big rest, I'll be able to yeah. regain some health. Um, but I'm not we sure. We come to Barum. He's like, oh. 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 <laughs> I mean, I can't see what's going on through there, so I, I'm gonna try to open this door. Oh, did I open it? The door opens. Go. Are you fucking kidding, kidding me? Open. You have a view and it would close for that one reason. You have a view of the room again. Uh, Mithras down, completely still. Looks like, you know, either he is dead or is very close to dead. Uh, wolf has disappeared. You didn't see the wolf get engulfed, but you can kind of surmise by the new bulge the creature has that <laughs> the wolf has probably disappeared inside. Uh, and is there anything you do in particular? Uh, no, I was just coming up here to open the door for her. <laughs> Would you like She's to just admire like, the well, creature? Shit. Admire it? Would you like to inspire the creature? Inspi no. Inspire the creature? Oh, give, yes. it, give it Bardic so it can roll better. Sing a jaunty tune to it. Let no. my <laughs> friend go. Are you saying something? I don't think we have to do it. Oh, watch out! He might playing. get plus one as next attack. Who knows? All right, so it's now it's it's now Gwyn and Beast's share <gasps> turn. Oh. Um, what did you want to do with that earlier result, Techbug? Because I mentioned uh, something so, to you in the chat. Yeah, so she has to roll. Hold on, let me look what it says. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can actually see in the room again. So, hold himself. on. Let, let me LOL. put the thing. Yes. So, roll for the constitution check. Will this take my current constitution? With the I hope so. I think you so. You must have one or more control tokens to use you this option. You the token out of the range. You need to put the token back. So she oh, really? It, my yeah. wolf. It, needs, it needs to be visible. Because if she doesn't have it as a control token, it doesn't count. It wouldn't let me click on the mound, so. Hello, I'm in. Alright, go mound. ahead, Round Frog. Hello, Mound. It's Mound Frog now. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's what we need we needed here, boys. Dude, there have been so many ones and like so yeah, there's been bad rolls tonight. Take fifteen damage from yep. being engulfed, like the stomach acid just reducing you slowly. Mm. Got it. I'm still wolf. So, just so you know, you're blinded, restrained, and unable to breathe. Also, roll a d4. Uh, roll the d4. <laughs> roll the d4. Close. The wolf is speaking. <laughs> Shit. Oh, gosh. I feel like that's not good. High or low? Okay, okay. Roll a 1d2. If it's heads, it's high. If it's tails, it's low. Whoa. Oh. I don't know what you said was heads because you said heads tails and tails, is but you low. didn't say one or two. Tails is low. Gotcha. Which one is two? So, <laughs> so it would be tails. uh, it would be one. So that's heads. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Oh yeah. You said so heads. So that's heads. Yeah. So, so no. So you have to wait. 
Uh, you can make an attack from within the beast, but you have disadvantage yeah. on it, Round Frog. Or Quinn. Um. I can't see anything, correct? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you can tell where it is. It's like right next to you. It's engulfing you, so. In fact, um, you can roll advantage on the uh, attack. attack roll, yeah. It's because it's a disadvantage and she's given advantage, it becomes normal attack. Is it disadvantage? You're disadvantaged if you're restrained, yes. I it doesn't say that attack. specifically, but is that you're like... Doing a, you're doing a what? Knights of Knee. Mm. I'll head bash you. I it must have seen not, some really shitty place. I want to try to communicate <laughs> with whatever I heard previously. What do you say? It is the worst. Uh, okay. Can it understand me? Can it understand me? I don't know, can it? Can it? Can I speak like telepathically? Elvish? Oh. Telepathically? No. I don't know. Unfortunately, you can only speak wolf as wolf. She can only speak to Doggo. I... I attack. Okay. Make a normal attack. This is better than any play I've seen, really. Roll it, roll it, roll it. That should be a hit, right? It hits. Technically, it okay. also needs to make uh, the strength save. Uh, I was gonna say, do we make the strength save or not? It's like I think, inside. I think make it, and if she makes it, give her another roll. Okay. Because she's kind of tearing her way. What am I doing? Uh, you, you're just rolling damage. Nope. He's rolling, uh, strength save. Ooh. Ooh, barely. That's big. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. That's big. Roll, uh, you roll damage, Frog, because you've hit. And then, uh... It's 2d6. Uh, it should just be You damage. can just click the damage. Yeah, just click, just the, click damage. the damage. Oh, okay. Thing. It should all be there for you. It defaults, yeah. Hopefully. Oh, oh, if the oh. DMs did it right. 13. Not bad. Uh, go ahead and roll a d4. That's not big. Hmm. What happens inside the mouth? <laughs> um, no. Not that I'm aware of. <clears throat> High or low, again. If it's a one, it's, uh, gonna be two or... If you roll one, he it's was. two. He it's uh, three or four. That he was on that. Uh, well, there you go. So nope, nothing happened. Nothing happens yet. All right, that is the combined uh, turn of the mound, and the technically the mound has movement. Uh, it can't do a lot once once it's actively engulfed something, but you can move it somewhere if you wanted to. Can it not attack when engulfing? I don't think so. I think I think it's engorged. Um. Let me check. It would be it doesn't hard to say do so anywhere because it can't really. Fit it just say I can't. Places. It just says I can't engulf more than one thing. No? Yeah, that's. Oh no, you can't do it because that's another action. Because it's an action. Oh, uh, okay. No, but that was last turn. turn though. Yeah, but you inflicted damage, right? And that's last part of turn. It, or is that passive? No, that's a passive by the engulf. That's a passive. All right, so you do mm -hmm. have. Uh, a movement and an action. So I should have a movement and an action. Which you yeah, have exactly. 10 feet less movement. Yeah, he actually can't cold. move very far because uh, he doesn't have... He only has 10 foot of movement, so you know, Tech Bug. That's okay, Rex is right here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, if... Since it didn't do the saving throw, does that mean... What does that mean for it? Well, let's see. Oh. What's the mound doing? Slam. <laughs> Come on and slam. Oh, Welcome to the tent. Slam against Rex. So, no, he is... 
Roll with advantage. Rex room, is unconscious. Can happen. It, that should yeah. be it. Pass, like, Automatic success on a death save when you hit an attack like that. death animation? Uh -huh. Well, go ahead and describe are, it. Are you bug, crushing that's on Aleph a little bit? Third fail. The shambling mountain slams his head into you. The last image you see is the head of the mother dangling towards you, angled forward on, on a dilapidated spinal column. Dead space shit. Filled with Ooh. pus and blood Ooh. dripping Ooh. towards you. An eyeball rolls out. Ooh. And you see oh, you the last bit of the, uh, the mound engulf you as you become another one of its liturgy of body parts. Lovely. Mithras. <laughs> and is Gwyn is currently sitting inside it too, going woo 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 woo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that brings us back up to Crane. I didn't oh, no, think I you would die. Been. I, I was just way. joking with you. You yeah. were the last person Do I, I had to thought. I, think I, care. Like, I got woman crushes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sorry. I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad it was you. I'm kind of glad it was you. I'm going to blast it with some more magic. Dude, if I thought you were right, actually hitting on my man, I wouldn't be joking with you. Or try to, at least. <laughs> Oof. Uh, wait. Do I, Can I use the inspiration? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now would be. I uh, mean. So I just roll one d6. Yeah, you roll a d6 and it gets added to the result. Five. Man. Which is not enough. Thirteen, right? Yeah. Nope, not enough. Well, I tried to help you there, doggo, but it just seems like I can't do nothing. I'm just gonna run now. <laughs> no. I I was still chill in the back oh. of this room. Yeah, it's not I just moved my character forward so I could actually see what was messaging. going on. Uh, like Andrew, big Sag. What you doing? Sag. I just I always want to make sure I clarify. Oh, I have no. to go in. You don't! Oh. You don't. Yeah. Oh. You, oh. No. Andrew, no. Dude, Andrew, no. don't do it. It's not wise. Don't do it, Andrew. You're saying no, but I can't hear you in there. No! <laughs> Alright, he uh, can make his two attacks because he's got his attack All right. and bonus attack. Let's do it, baby. Come fuck this. And oh my god. <laughs> Tech Bug is just like, alright, this is easier than I thought it would be. Ah, ah, that's damage. okay, I'm gonna fuck you next turn. Ah! <laughs> from beyond the from game. The game. The wow, beyond you're still fighting grave. it. Hey, we can work with Crane Barm. If we need to. I am a part of it. Alright, and then you slice him. Attack. Slime falls off. Make another attack. Oh, save him. Slice, 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 and dice him. It's an interesting <laughs> thing to love, Gooch Man. I just want to Very point out that the rogue is so far. Ooh! Oh. Nice. Well done, Dude. That's two two damage dice instead of the normal one. He's killing it. <laughs> why does he? Why does why does Andrew always have these like? He's huge... filled with fury. He rolled massive. Just like ah! <laughs> roll, a, roll another d6. It's almost like he's a rogue or something, right? Yeah, almost. This is, this is almost the broken rogue in 5e. All right, another three damage on top of that, uh, and that is. Andrew, you actually have a teeny bit of movement left if you wanted to use it. The, the mound is sliced to pieces, many bones fall off, and multiple layers of slime, but he's obviously still ready to fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's hot kind of milfs in your thought. area looking to fuck. There's hot milfs in your area, and he's slimy and ready to fuck. <laughs> There's hot shambling <laughs> mounds in your area. He's 17 foot Put tall. Hope you're in a bore. Andrew disengages and moves away Hope from the mound, giving tentacle. himself yeah. a tiny bit of room. I have like uh, nothing I can do because I have no more spells or anything. Because I've used them all. You know, We've been in this some house for freaking ever. And Worth a try. Barum's turn. Exactly. I, I ain't And I did use there. my bardic inspiration, so you can give it to somebody else now. I think yeah. I have to be next to somebody, don't I? No. Nope. No. Nope. You just have to be in vision. I think. 
Well, I, think I, we, I, I think can we see you. I can see you. <laughs> yeah, I, I can say. see you. Okay, well, if that's yeah, the case. In, oh, you don't even have to see. It's just here because you're playing something or singing something. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, I'll give my uh, bardic inspiration to Andril since he's insisting. What do you say to him? How do you inspire him? <laughs> Get die. the fuck out of there! <laughs> <laughs> How inspiring. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Barham's turn. Uh, do you do anything else in particular? Oh, you fools! Yeah, um, really. I mean, that's all I can do. Okay. Brings us down to the shared amalgamations turn. <laughs> Roll. Shared amalgam, which is good. <sighs> well, I should do the thing first. Yeah. Wow. Roll a saving constitution throw on that thingy. <laughs> huh? You do not make it. I will do damage now. Take seven damage. I'm out of old farm. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She has one HP. One HP mm, as four as HP. Win. Was it four HP? Okay. Four oh. HP. I had as four. Win. Yeah. Oh. I had four. Roll a D four. One moment. <laughs> Furious typing. Oh, man. How much health do I have as going right now? Uh, yeah, sure, no. f- sure, fuck it. <laughs> if you don't want to. No, <laughs> no, 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 no we might as isn't... well. All right. We might as well. All right, go ahead, tech buck. I assume this is you, this is still mound. <sighs> Unless you want me to do it. Let me get my book. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do it, I know enough of it. I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, you should be. You're engulfed by a big slimy boy. I'm in a slime. Of your own choosing. I know. That's just... I can't help my character. True. As you drip and fall deeper and deeper into the the depth of the slime, continuously trying to make bites and bites is what you can reach, but never able to make contact, you yeah. hear a shrill voice gl- growing closer and closer. At one point, you're able to look at at least a little bit deeper into the bottom of the depths of the uh, the giant shambling mound, and you see what looks like an infant. They are also engulfed inside the mound. Tortured. Trying to be engulfed in the mound itself, trying to be made part of the amalgam of bone and slime and gore, and yet it is still there. Tortured. Beyond belief, a miserable existence, but still there. He has no mouth, and he must scream. What do you do? One moment. (laughs) (laughs) You're never going to find this on Reddit. Don't try to look it up. No, I'm not. (laughs) She's like, uh, uh, can I save it? Can I save it? (laughs) I'm now Quinn, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Drop so. woven form and you are Gwen. You're naked. Since you no. made that cannon. You are naked. <laughs> I can see the infant, correct? Yeah. There's baby, yeah. Would you like to name him? No. <laughs> she knows the name. <laughs> he will feel very sad if he does not have a name. I don't actually know his name. I don't remember it. He may or may not have a name. Been torturing this infant, keeping it here in stasis, you realize part of the same thing that Crane realized, that this is not the child's mother around it. This is the, uh, like we said, the the, the wife of the father who had this mm-hmm. bastard son, and she is not keeping it here out of pity or out of love. This is a, this is an eternal punishment that she intends to bring upon this child finish it. Okay. I reach for the infant. Try to grab it and hold it close to my chest within the slime beast. It is connected irrevocably to the beast. Can I see... 
Oh, okay. Quack. I cannot release it from its grip. There's only one release for this creature. Yeah. <laughs> Crane yells out, You must release it from its pain! You hear Crane scream out. Way. I... We're getting down with the circus. This is such a heavy moment and we're doing memes. I know. Sorry. What are you doing, Gwen? Kill the baby. Hang on. Once, once Just like you would in real life. Death is around the no, corner No, not that one. You. This one. <gasps> you monster. I get a down with a sand down. Mm. Alright. Roll. Struck through the heart and your two. The dagger finds its way. Finds the baby's the heart. Body. Go ahead and roll damage. Don't forget to add your strength. Is what is oh, happening? Yeah. I'm being a baby. No. Baby is dying. Baby. You don't spend a lot of time being with a babies, dying do baby. You? <laughs> no, well, of course I, not. To be fair, I've never heard one die either, so it might be correct. I don't know. <laughs> really? No. Hmm. I oh, you gotta get on the internet room. more. I, I worked in an emergency room, but I only ever heard old people die. Oh, that's unfortunate. Jeez. You should get the, yeah. the, the uh, wide. The wide pass is much I better. Plunge dagger. Pass. Plunge dagger into baby. Into the child. The dagger <laughs> plunges into the infant, and with a last gurgling gasp, it is released from its torment. And in that moment, the last tiny. Goop. I cast druidcraft, oh, and God. I create a sensory effect, such that of soft rainfall. <laughs> That the child uh -huh. has something pleasant. It's a terrible <laughs> day for rain. Don't yeah. Hated whenever it rains. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know so what bad. this chat is, man. I just here for the ride. What happens it's to the mound? <laughs> what happens to the mound? Take one. The mound gurgles. Oh. And it begins to fall apart slowly around kind of peeling out from around the child. I'm literally breathing so hard, I wish you could... <laughs> It falls down, a massive rib cage slams down while the ooze sinks into the ground. And within that rib cage, while the bones fall, you can see Gwen with a baby in her teeth. I'm a regular human now. I'm a oh, human. Yeah. I have a dagger. Oh, my bad. She's uh, cradling it, but it is drenched in blood. And, and the dagger is, is, is right through its tiny little baby heart. Quinn is heaving in the center of the platform. And She's the ritual naked. chanting has stopped. <laughs> what? Is this? Is the ritual that? chanting has stopped. Combat has ended. I'm left there looking at my hands with this child below me and quaking with what I've done in the moment. The baby is dead. Crane, Andril, and Barum, it's up to you guys what you do at this point. I'm still a dog on my screen. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix that, don't worry. <laughs> I am still dog. I is just dog. I am dog. I am no dog. Uh... Hello, at the sound I am dog of, friend. At the sound of the crashing of the bones and the I am gurgling, friend dog. Crane is going <laughs> to very cautiously approach the entryway and just kind of peek in to see what became of the others that were trying. I do not see friend dog's actor token. It should be gone. Should just friend be gone dog's actor point. token is no longer there. Oh, never mind. Here's friend dog. She Wait, now why has is two. There, two tokens? <laughs> there are two friend dogs. Excuse me. We have lost a Mithras, but we have been cursed with a second Gwyn. <laughs> what do y'all do? Mm -hmm. Crane is inspecting the room. There's a presumably dead man, Dragonborn. Loot the body. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over to to uh, Mithros's body, which has been partially made into part of the Shambling Mound. I love how I'm just standing here, broken mess, and Crane is like, you know what? <laughs> Look, me well, and Mithros I mean, got along a lot more. We just lost a comrade. It's not gonna be that surprising that we go over there. He is... Crane is the meme. I don't know if you guys have seen it, where the guy's like, I lost my brother, I must get revenge. And the elf is like, you have my bow. And the dwarf is like, you have my axe. And the necromancer's like, and your brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to... I'm going to search to see what he has. What do you have, Rex? What did you have, I should say? Oh, uh, let's Everything. see. I had, uh, like, ten gold pieces. Ooh. No, nine gold pieces. I spent a little bit of oh. the at the very beginning. Uh, nine gold pieces. I have a dagger, scale mail, shield, nine days worth of rations, water oh, skin. Uh, Boy, I brought some food. Torch, amulet, holy symbol. All right. All of a second, I Rex's know. second character comes in. Hello, the, everyone. And the bone, Hello, and the everyone. Bone, I'm a, uh, I'm a fighter. Oh yeah, the advent. Do you have spare uh, oh, Crane's going to. Mail. Crane's actually not going to take the gold. Because <clears throat> uh, it doesn't Maybe really interest him. Uh -huh, what a big fucking take... surprise! Go ahead. The, it's going to take the uh, he's going to take this amulet and the rations. Nine days of rations for his gaunt two HP form. <laughs> hey, right. I got strength yeah. though. I got the add strength those, to carry. Uh, add those things to your inventory. Uh, is... Actually, I can add the amulet, but you should be able to add the rations. Yeah. While this is happening, Barum mm -hmm. decides to play a song to try and help ease his, like, kind of lighten the. The mood, because the mood is very heavy and dark, because we just lost a comrade, and Gwen is freaking out holding a dead baby. It's like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Everyone <laughs> remains stressed out. This is the jester in darkest dungeon going, bling, 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 when everything is dying. <laughs> Alright. Mithras uh, is... How do you... Hang on. Uh, what would that be under the rations? Uh, do you would have any rations? Consumables? It should I be don't. an inventory. Yeah, I haven't told you this. All right, if you don't, uh, if you don't have, oh yeah, there it is. Here, let me drag it to you to make it a little bit easier. Uh, th you all go ahead. I'm gonna give uh, Crane a couple things from him. So Barm's <laughs> playing us a song. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And Crane's just going to mutter to himself, uh, "What a waste." <laughs> Sad day. Oh my God. Okay, nine days of rations. There you go, Noodle. Or Crane. Oh. And you also have... And the light to also pass. Yeah, this as well. After I'm Mithras done playing my song, I do go over to Mithras and pay my respects because, like, we were traveling together when we came to the party. R.I.P. And Crane's Crane going to take out... His loot. Well, <laughs> no, Crane's going to take out his book that he got. I think you know which one it is, the one that I, I, that one that you sent me personally, the name of, that's in Tiefling. And I'm going to set it on Mithras's torso, or his armor, and just walk towards the exit. Interesting. Alright. <clears throat> As I'm walking away, I just say, here's something for you to read in your time. Okay, and it is an infernal, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, nobody else can actually read it. But you leave a book there with Mithras, presumably of some import. A pretty good sign from a wizard to leave a book as a token of offering. Books being very important to wizards. Just a note for the rest of the party. Everybody's paying their respects. Does anybody else leave anything? Do anything here in this underground cavern before leaving this wretched, hellish place behind? Um, and this dead, yeah. dead man. What the fuck is this, Mithra? <laughs> what do From you think it is? 
I don't it's know. His, uh, it's his 4d6. What do you think? Do, 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 oh character do. two. <laughs> um, a pretty I would good like roll to... I might add with a 17. I would like to, uh, like, drop my hand, go over towards Mithras' body, and then. Baby goes black. Yeah. Well, the baby was on the ground, I thought. Oh, okay. It's fine. Baby's on the ground now. <laughs> it's we, on the ground, whether or not. We are um, dead, we! I would like to, like, quietly tell Mithras, like, I'm sorry, I couldn't save you. Aww. And then sort of just walk behind the crane silently. Naked. Yes. Um, Why would you know that? Play. He's dead, he can't hear you. Fuck you. Shut <laughs> up. Alright, anybody else? That's it. All right. Why am I like getting emotional? <laughs> we lost a party member. It's always rough, yeah. man. It is it actually. Is. It and is I kind of sad. Baby. Yeah, and when, killed a when baby. Yeah. When my when my Claire died in my main party, like everybody was really sad. Actually, <laughs> it's rough. You know, it is rough. It is kind of sad. He will. Rex will be back, but Mithras has perished here. Level three. I, I he's gonna be it. back. And he's gonna have a cowboy hat, and he'll be named Tex. I will get and you were like, "Huh, oh, weird. Is this the same guy?" <laughs> and you he's know? like, "Nah, I ain't never met y'all before. How you doing?" And you're like, "Nah, no, this can't is... be the same guy." My name is Sithras. My name Sithras is Texas Moonscale. Tex. Uh, all right. I, I'm gonna give it to Mithras too because finishing that scenario does push the party to level three. Uh huh. So yeah, I'm yeah, just saying yeah. Mithras made it to level three in a ten level scenario. So not not terrible, Max. Good job. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, good job, party. However, just real quick, I'm not gonna keep it super long. We're right at the what is it, the two hour mark at this point. So mm -hmm. we need to get to yeah. the next phase. Yeah, two hours. Um, it, unless somebody stops me and says they do something along the way, um, feel free to do so. But I'm just gonna describe the outer here. Okay. Um, I basically all I'm going to say that as I I kind of stay in the. Room I always moment, gay loved him. As people. <laughs> As people walk out and I just say, I add on to my earlier statement of what a waste is. At least it was a good waste. And I walk out. Ooh. Good waste. Dark. I am Itachi-san. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, yeah. It's itachi -san. Um, Since I put the bones in the crypts, will the ghost children still appear? Or no? They are the at ghost? peace now. Yeah. They're at peace now. Okay. They are at peace. You have sent them to the I just side. like silently like fold my hands and. You have done the correct thing. Good job. You played the campaign right. You have, <laughs> you have put this family to rest, Gwen. You have done the thing. Single the campaign yeah, wants you to basically. Almost. Really <laughs> bad to fucking say. Y'all are fucking welcome. You, put, you are you the only the person who has played the campaign. The I'm the it's only funny. like good party member. Everyone nah. else is like. Everybody's doing Evil. their job, but Gwen is definitely... I will say g good morally, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Gwen is being the cinnamon roll, for sure. Is uh, I am going from uh, neutral no, good to right lawful thing. good. Yeah, you, might, you might need an good. upgrade. Yeah, you might, <laughs> my... you might be upgrading. Oh, now you're neutral good, it seems like. My yep. dick is erect with neutral good. Oh. <laughs> I think chaotic is a good way to describe her, because the she house. sort of did it whatever she wanted to anyway. The house mm, no, the knives. It's almost sentient tendencies as the way forward back out of the house becomes apparent to you very quickly. A passageway on the second basement level opens up as you emerge onto that platform that was not visible before. Just to take in, we just lost uh, it a family up member. a short flight of stairs and feeling a extremely welcome cool draft floating in, you are deposited immediately next to the front entryway at the beginning of the house where you first arrived, where Rose and Thorn pointed you inside. Very uh, Dark Souls-esque, I like. At, at this point, the house is... This entire campaign is that. Yeah, the entire, yeah <laughs> this is the most Dark souls -y campaign. Does it feel like this it, is the it, most it, Dark Souls it, campaign by far, yes. By far. <laughs> like, um, does, the, does the house feel a little bit more at peace? It's technically more like Bloodborne. Okay. Yeah, actually, that, yeah, that Bloodborne is like spot on. 
uh, complete with mysterious fog. Uh, <laughs> the house, mm -hmm. interesting that you point this out, Gwen. Um, the occupants of the house seem to have been put to rest. However, the house itself gives off a vibe of... House is big angry. Thank you, come again. Oh. As if this is something that it does on... Yes, yeah, thank you, come again, big angry. thank you. <laughs> it, is, it is allowing you to depart. You have passed its test. You have performed a murder, which seems to be the point of the house. And having done so, wow. it ejects you, essentially, back out onto the street where I had no choice. the I fog has your started innocence. to lift, thankfully. Um, not completely. There is no sunlight or anything like that yet, and it appears to be is evening. Mithras is a myth? <laughs> much more, much, uh, of much more import to this group. It appears that the I sun is no going sunlight. down at the time that you arrive back on the street of Barovia, the actual village that you're in. The murder house looms behind you, three stories I tall, the fuck we were, leaving behind a companion in the depths, uh, taking a few effects with you. Like I said, the fog has cleared slightly. There appears to be a gap now where the street, slick with grime, unlit, and devoid of any pedestrians is uh, now laid out before you. Actually, let me take us to for... I need to get rid of Durst children, but... 32. This is the street. Oh, is that me? Barovia. That's me right there? No. No. Oh, <laughs> the body. No. Yeah. Uh... Here we... Uh-huh, I'm waiting. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's what I said. I'm this... I'm this man. <laughs> uh, so... The hour is swiftly approaching of nightfall, which, if the zone around you is any indication, is going to be a bad time to be caught out of doors. Uh, however, there doesn't seem to be any sign of habitation or life forms around you, no sign of a tavern. You might have to explore the town a little bit in order to find where you might find lodgings for the evening, if there are any friendly faces to be found in this town at all. Hmm. I, Gwyn, does not lead the party. Okay. Is anybody else wanting to lead the way, try to point the group in a direction, get moving? Sure. We'll start moving... <laughs> we'll just start moving uh, down the street okay. more away from the house but also just kind of looking for any sort of movement oh, or so at big. least any place out of the weather kind of calmer while we walk I continue to just play my instrument and sing depressing songs can Quinn, can Quinn have put on her clothes at the point more light goes out <laughs> yeah that's okay. fine <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Andrew has his priority set. Oh, did did, uh, did she finally put Don some clothes? Oh, yeah. Is that a bullet? <laughs> Is that a hand crossbow? Or are you happy Boaty to see me? Boji. No. Should I or no? I I think you should. This is a great opportunity. Just you know, you're here to say hello. No, as soon as, uh -uh. as soon as you guys begin to walk down towards the alleyway out of the death house, you hear a little bit of uh, noise coming from one of the rooftops. Okay. <laughs> it's about like an old time. Man's it's about time. You, you look up on the rooftop, and you're able to see, uh, what looks, I'm dying at fucking deadbolt, what, lo what looks like a giant cloaked this man. This is the voice. This is the voice. Are you familiar with me? This is the voice. Alright, whatever. What do you mean, this is the voice? Fuck off. Uh, I'm enough of a vampire in real life. Hears this shit, the voice is just like... mine. Fuck everything right now. Go ahead, sir. 
Yeah, we finally made it out of town. We're trying to or into the town. I uh, I've I've been watching you Sometimes to see best. if any of you are good enough to be my successor. Mm, not interested, man. Yeah, for real. <laughs> That's okay. You don't <laughs> have you to be interested, Barum. The only person who I know is interested now, for sure, is Gwyn. Shut the fuck up. I fuck saw you. the. I saw the blood splash on the altar. Uh -oh. I see everything. I know you're charismatic. You're intelligent. No, I'm not. You can be on my side. No. Dude, fuck off. Leave her alone. <laughs> you're more than just a dire wolf to me. <laughs> you puppy, you will. Um, X -X if you, say, if you say so. Do you have anything else to say, sir, before I respond? Before you respond, it looks like I'm gonna be the one responding with everything throughout the, throughout this town. I hope you have a good luck finding me. I'll be around to see how you do in the following encounters. <laughs> Did somebody just start what? squeezing him? Did He's he like, gone. Oh? No, that was him shifting into a bat vortex to teleport away. Oh, oh okay. I could not tell. <laughs> Why was that? How are you capable of doing like such a cliche haunted house like monster <laughs> Seriously. impression? Seriously, that sounded like I have watched a lot of Scooby Doo. <laughs> I have watched. I have had say, very TV many Scooby Doo ex episodes on VHS. Actually, guy, thank you this, very much. This campaign is Scooby Doo. It's <laughs> yes, it really is though. It's Fred, Bloodborne Fred has Scooby Doo. Died. All right, you guys. Heard What's it this Scooby Doo? Coming at you. For. Gonna, Gonna stop stop that you. To um, I have Say a question. I have a question for DM. For a DM, do you have a preferred DM at this point? No, I yeah, just... right. Is it me? Either. It's probably me. Yeah, it's probably tech bug. Go it, ahead. Uh, Go no, ahead. it's it's not kind you're of dead. Like... Next question. I'm not yeah, fucking dead yet, dead. bitch. No, Mithras is dead though. I want him to remember that. Not like he fucking cares, but you know, whatever. Rex has um... already got the next character lined up. Like I, like I said, this is literally best case scenario is that he dies. Um. <laughs> I would like to. It, we're almost at the end, right? Like we're wrapping. We are at. We are at the end. We're at the end. Effectively. Okay. That was the After, last thing that happened. Is Shrod came and told called you guys he little just bitches disappeared, and then he left. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, what well, you guys? I'm out. He okay, was like, I he's. Know. You want to join I, me, I, bros? By the way, just so you know, I'm gonna look up extensive Vladimir quotes and use those for the rest of this campaign. Perfect. <laughs> oh God. Can I just for like the sake of. Um, like Are you B positive? Rolling instead of a uh, role playing instead of like actual gameplay mechanics. Could I transform one more time just no. for the role play aspect? No, no, just for the role play no. aspect. No, you don't have another transformation. You can do it after you rested, play. which is... You can be a sad... Oh, no, you can't because you're already... No, <laughs> no. I, see, I wanted to be, like, a sad, like, bat or something and just, like, sit on someone's shoulder. You can you can stand outside and go, oh, in human form, and people will look at you oddly. <laughs> Gwen, Gwen, yeah, what strong. you'll be able to do is, after you have rested... Well, I'll narrate that in a second. This, this, the like campaign I said, is called uh, Curse of Strahd. Um, you could rest for a bit because you don't need, you know, as much as everybody else, probably still a little afflicted at this point by yes. recent events. Um, and it could happen during the stay at your next location. But for now, you are exhausted of druidic potential don't have anywhere thing else to really draw upon at this point. Actually, wait a moment. Here comes please. the typing. Here comes the. Here comes the <laughs> typing. Oh, oh, oh. He's I have another questions. thing I can do. Oh, with, it uh, wasn't to me though. If it's not that, oh. He, he's researching. Oh no, it was. It was not to me either. <laughs> 
I have another thing. Oh I my god. Case. Real quick, should we use real playing cards? <clears throat> yeah, we should. I mean, there's that would be hyper resource, spot. but we we could also use the real playing cards when we get to that part. If you want, tech bug. Mm. I would like that. Um, That'd be very cool. I think that would be good. Oh, where is it? What's this gooey do? Oh, I need to stop playing monkey music. My monkey's dead. <laughs> That's been in my head for like the past like 20 minutes. Yeah, TV. it's been stuck in my head now too, so thanks. Is that Blink-182? Yeah, right? I, exactly. Okay, Frog. I tried yeah. to see if, because technically the party has hit level 3. Uh, yeah. I'll go yeah. over your level up mechanics in a bit. I thought you gained another wild shape form. You do no. Not. However, you do gain the ability to regain an animal form after a short rest instead of a long rest. So you could only rest for an hour and then do your thing if you wanted to, for RP purposes, and then get your long rest. I cast Disguise oh, Elf. Okay. It's simple plan. And I would oh. like to um, oh. I forgot add an accoutrement yeah, to my outfit. Okay. Sad, in in my which it is Ooh. a cloak of darkness that I can hide my face. <laughs> A cloak of dark. In depression. A cloak of dark. A cloak of depression. Well, like, like nobody has ever heard this before in a DZ campaign. Jeez, Let's geez, go ahead and bring out the free like configure. Gwen, just so you're aware, yeah. if you cast detect magic or detect or uh, disguise self, it uh, burns the use of that spell. It, it so says using, and. Uh, no, it says if you cast either. You cannot use it again until a short or long. Oh, rest. No, I didn't read it. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be depressed, okay? I know. I know. No, it says this. It Let says this. Also, I didn't read it. Okay, don't, fuck you. don't don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. All right. I read the We're gonna level to three. The party Aww. make their way through the darkened streets of Barovia. The sun, not visible, but clearly getting darker. Uh, almost total darkness occupies the landscape by the time you locate um, a single lit uh, what appears to be an extremely shoddy tavern. Um, uh, there's no one inside save for the barkeep. And it is the only place that is lit on the streets and it seems to be a place that you can stay. There's no Mithras, so someone has to take the lead and figure out if they're talking and going inside. Grain is just going to silently go inside. Okay. Yeah. Grain Sorry. leads right the now. way. Let me bring it up real quick. Just so I get the name of the bark correct. Where are you at? No, you haven't. Streamlabs has been behaving wait, lately. Wait. I'll be a leader once I have my health back. I can get on no aeroplane. I get on no aeroplane. Ain't nobody once got I have my time health back, for that. I will be more. The barkeep is a pudgy man who is currently using a uh, cloth to wipe down the inside of some glasses, some drinking glasses. These appear to be of a finer sort, but long since past their prime. They have lost their. They have a kind of smoky look, like they've been used a little bit too often. And despite this, he is mind almost mindlessly wiping away the interior of this glass. And he doesn't even raise his head as the four of you enter. I'm going to ask him if we can, if there are any places to stay. Excuse me, sir, but do you have any lodgings that we could perhaps use? <laughs> Behold, oh, the small pirate. Small pirate, small pirate is pirate. here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'll take it to you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, wait. Do you want to say bye? I'll let you say bye. That's all you get to do. No? <laughs> I I'll, I'll work on that in a minute. Go on. She's like, what about candy? <laughs> what about? What about candy? <laughs> this time she wasn't so stealthy in her in her. She is very polite. She gets a pat. <laughs> um. Excuse me, sir. 
<laughs> at this point, Crane has become quite irritated at the lack of reaction and is now raising his voice slightly. Slightly Hera. perturbed, but still keeping his Hera. more... What? Hera. You being a Karen, it's okay. It's a Karen. <laughs> it's being yeah. a Karen. Uh, no, I'm still, I'm still remaining, still remaining, uh... Excuse me, sir. Oh, I've been sitting here for ten minutes. I've been sitting here even... for like five minutes. Excuse you me. You haven't even like acknowledged please, me. Please, like, notice me or something. I'm fucking tired and would like. Like, to at just least sit tell me that you've seen me. Now. At least tell me that you've seen me, okay? Where's your like, manager? I know... This place is terribly managed. I know you're busy. You know would what? Like to... Let me see your. Let me see your app. Let me see your app on the iStore. I'm gonna give you a guy's one get star. Such a terrible Yelp review. I would like to approach the bar or whatever he's standing behind and uh, like wave a hand so he can like see it. It just passes in front of him like this and he continues going. See, it goes to boy. So let's go. Is there on the wall or any, is there like the price for <laughs> the room posted anywhere in this tavern? <laughs> There doesn't appear to be a room and board uh, set up. The only thing in the room, just a brief description of it, um, there is a faded wooden sign hanging over the hearth that says Blood of the Vine, which appears to be the name of the tavern itself. Uh, there is a fire lit in the hearth place, which is the main source of light. There's also a torch hung up next to the bar that seems to lead to an upstairs quarter, and those are the only sources of light in the room. Against the rapidly growing utter darkness of outside, even this seems extremely somber and dim, and it doesn't look like that the light in the fire has much life left in it either. Um, on top of that, this individual appears to be of the same type that you had seen with Rose and Thorn. He is extremely pale, ghostly pale, and his vacant eyes are just kind of fixated but kind of wandering to the glasses as he picks up another one and just starts polishing it they don't appear to even really need maintenance but he's just sitting there doing his polish job on glass after glass but on the wall behind him instead of an assortment of liquors or a choice of food there are only several bottles uh fat bottomed with very thin necks and cast in some kind of reed that is meant to protect it from sunlight and preserve the contents of the wine within. And even with moving the hand in front of him, he barely even pauses, just nodding when Crane asks if there's lodgings. Maybe we should move on. In this town, I don't believe we're going to find any better place to stay, nor more welcome. <clears throat> Maybe so, but... I don't exactly get a good feeling from here either. <laughs> Has any part of any of this town ever given you a good feeling? <laughs> Crane is going to just Touché. set a silver coin on the counter and he, walk up the stairs. He looks at the silver coin and slides it toward him just slowly and puts it right in front of him. He turns around, grabs one of the bottles, off the shelf, sets it near Crane, and then pushes four of the polished glasses that he has in the direction of the bottle. And then picks up another glass and begins When it's again. like, pour up and starts pouring yep. them bitches. So he's, Crane's <laughs> just gonna grab down. the bottle, grab a, grab a glass and walk over to the table, sit down. Okay. And just pour. When pours yeah, the rest yeah, of the yeah. cups. <laughs> Gwen my pours the rest of the cups that, because she's a nice uh, person. My Fuck assumption you. is that the four of you can decide uh, in the interim how you spend the evening. Uh, but for now, that is the end of this session. You guys have survived the death house and have made it to your evening rest. Perfect. Well, nice. most of you have. Most yeah, of you. <laughs> <laughs> a strange person may roll out of the blue tomorrow. And join you. <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> well, how old are you? I'm Sifras Moonscale. <laughs> I'm Sifras Moonscale, the ranger. Have you got seen 
my pet paladin. I mean, lizard kid. Um, congrats. Y'all level to level three. Level three. Yeah. Here we go. Level three. Yeah. Um, and it's time to begin the campaign proper because, believe it or not, that is just a tiny module in the very back of the book. I That's a single... All right, I'm going to go ahead and deafen them really quick and uh, end stream here. It was a really good run. We survived. We did lose Mithras, but uh, everyone else is alive. So hopefully after a long rest this next time, hopefully I will um, be able to get all my health back. Yeah, it was a lot shorter than normally because we started a lot later. Normally we're starting around like 730 Eastern Standard Time. Or like 8 and we didn't start until 9 30 almost 10 o'clock our time and people have work tomorrow so we had to make sure it got cut off very short very soon so i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening and uh yeah i will see you guys next time so thanks for joining bye